in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street on, um, what's the day? Monday, it's Monday. I get so confused because I was on air yesterday and I got really confused, thought we were on lane yesterday and everything. Anyway, we've got a really good day for you today. We have got Alison Marion with us, who is going to be showing us fantastic quilt, her fidget cushions and one of her own quilts. And, and she's going to do a little, a little demo. We've persuaded her, we've got a brand new product in. I saw it yesterday when we were unpacking all the stuff. I thought, oh, I really would like one of those. So I'm glad Alison's demoing it because she's got one. She loves it. I think you're going to like it too. But we'll start with the early bird. Leave that one as a little surprise. Early bird. Now this is a real bargain. So we've done the maths to make sure that this is a really good saving. Now I love Gutterman thread. I, this is what my go-to thread for doing piecing, dressmaking, seams, that sort of stuff. If I'm doing really lovely quilting, I'll go to the higher end or a fill threads, but for my general sewing, Gutterman. Now, we've sold this box as an empty box before, but today it's not empty. Now, it comes in a nice cardboard box, which is quite pretty. If you're thinking of gifting, these things are important, makes it easier to wrap. And then if you open up the box, doo -doo 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 -doo, you've got plastic lid, take that off, 20 27, 27 Gutterman sew all threads, which means it's 100% polyester, it's brilliant thread, doesn't break, nice and strong, doesn't bobble in the needle when you're sewing with it, and you get all of these colours. So we couldn't find a direct comparison anywhere, we had had a look, however we have found the box, 
the empty box now that is we found that somewhere else 725 that's the empty box with lid um there's lots of spikes in it as you can see to keep your um your spools on so the empty box 725 a one of the if you buy them individually which i normally do we have found them for two pounds a spool that's what i normally play yeah well known well known place i mean i normally buy these for 192 pounds a spool they're really really good threads 100 meters per spool so if we work out the maths of 725 plus two pounds times 27 cat's got a calculator thank goodness is 61 pounds and 25 pence so if you had to buy all of this it would cost you 61 pounds and 25 pence now our starting price on that isn't as high on that. Oh, remember, this is the early bird, so there's a little deal. So £49.99 would be our start price. So we're still saving over £10 on our starting price. But it's an early bird. So we used, yeah, we used to sell this box. How much was it then? £4.99 we used to sell. So we didn't even sell it at £7.25. We used to sell it at £4.99. So our starting price for this is 49.99 which is still saving over 10 pounds. But because it's an early bird, what's the special offer today? <gasps> we are going to take another 10 pounds off that. So you will get 27 spools of thread in a book. Now let me show you what you get in it. You've got black, you've got all the gray, white, grays. You've got all the Oh, I've got to put them on the back in right order. There's not a hope. Lots of greens. One, two, three, four greens. Oh, there's another white. So you've got white and ivory and cream. Four shades of grey, black. You've then got ochre and yellow. You've got one, two, three, four shades of blue. Oh, a nice pale lemon. Pale pink, mid pink, red, chocolate. Oh, that's a nice one. Plum. Deep red, bright red, orange. So you have got all the colours of the rainbow as well as your blacks, whites, greys and browns. And the box. And you see the box has got all these little spikes in so they actually stay. So this is fantastic for storage. Because imagine if you put these in the box without, they'd be all over the place, wouldn't they? And I'm not going to put them back in order. So 27 spools of thread would cost 61 61.24 include with the box but today for you 39.99 so this is a lovely gift for yourself you've then got all the thread you need because you know what it's like when you're at home you've never got all the right colors you've never got that shade of pink have you you might have read and think i wonder if it'll do you've never got that shade of pink and the fact that you've got like the three blues you know you've got your mid you've got your french navy and you've got your royal and there's and there's a navy blue in there as well which i've mixed up so you know four shades of blue this is fantastic keep it on your shelf then you've always got it and i think 39.99 and then once you finish with it you can reload it all the um colors have got the numbers on them if you find well actually I'd, i prefer to have more white you can put that in but it's wonderful isn't it and it makes a lovely gift so if you want someone to buy this for you they'll find it very easy to wrap up or give it to someone else look at that so even if you were paying four ninety nine for this book box, then you are only paying one twenty nine per spool, which is an absolute bargain, isn't it? Look at it, Gutterman. I mean, it is it is beautiful. It, it is a hundred meters polyester polyester thread. It is your sew all thread. It's piecing, dressmaking, hemming. You can use it for hand sewing as well. It is your sort of general machine weight. So it's beautiful quality. It's not your cheap thread. It's the beautiful quality thread. Look at that. So you're saving like 20 quid, over 20 pounds on that. That's a good early bird, isn't it? I'm liking that. A whole array of colours. Now on the box, it also tells you the colour numbers because you know what it's like? Sometimes the labels come off when you put them in your machine, but all the colour numbers are listed, look, on the, on the box for you so you can see. These are fantastic. There's loads of you in there. Pop them in your basket. Buy multiples. I'm not surprised because this is a great thing. I've never got the right colours of thread. And I, I have no idea because I've got so much of it. 
but if you store it properly, I've got all of my food, I need to get one of these, you know, just a big, nice box, but a big box, and it is constant, it doesn't matter how many times I sort it all out, it's all tangled. I've even got a, thre a thread spool holder, one of those wooden ones that you put them on, and they're still all tangled, but this is a really good, because look how compact it is to get 27 in that little box. What a brilliant early bird. I'm going to put it back, fly it back into its little box. Please keep, um, pop, those of you who've got it in your basket, please keep checking out for that because we've only got so many of these and when they're gone, they're gone. But they are lovely little Christmas present. I'd quite like that, just saying. Right, shall we welcome Alice? And good morning, Alice, and thank good you for morning. joining so early. Um, okay. So this lovely gadget. Yes, I have I one love of these. A gadget. Now, how long <laughs> have you had yours, and why did you get it? Um, oh, I've had mine about four years, and I got it because my sewing room is away from the house. Right. And when you're doing something like this or any of the quilts, dressmaking as well, you know you're going to need more than one bobbin. Yes. So I can do this down in the house, not worrying about having my sewing machine down there, and then I'm all prepped when I go to the oh, okay. go to the sewing room. Um, also, I have been known to have it on the go in the kitchen because you can put it to wind and then go on and do something else and it switches oh. itself off automatically. Well, so also, it means you don't have to re-thread your machine. No, that's it? right. Because yeah. you can do that separately. Yeah. Yeah. So w show us what, what is, well, what it's, is this it's wonderful a bobbin, gadget? A sidewinder, a bobbin winder, basically. Um, it's amazing. And it is, it's a, just a, one of those handy little things. I saw them um, looking at it a few weeks back in, in the office, um, discussing it. And I said, oh, I've got one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so they went, right, you're on. So there. You're on. <laughs> well, I hate it when I have to re-thread the machine. And I yeah. thought, isn't it a shame that I, I, wonder, I didn't even know whether you could get a machine that had a separate section to wind yeah, it so some you, of them do so you don't have to re-thread it so i'm definitely going to get but if you've those. only got one reel of thread yeah it's hand you've still got to unthread your machine yes very so annoying. it's handy to get them all done before because even dressmaking you need more than one bobbin if you're doing a yes, large project always. yeah and you don't have to plug it in either no it's battery yeah, so um, really, really so easy to work? use so i just it pulled use up normal batteries two aa batteries and they, come, the oh, they come with it. Comes with come it. With yeah, it. I took the uh, thing out this morning. So yes, it comes with it. Okay, and do they last a while? I don't think I've ever changed mine because you're not actually using it for very long. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, I've had mine about four years. And you've so, never, yeah, changed I've never changed them. Oh, well, that's good. Value. I'm sure at some point they'll let me down. Yes, <laughs> right in the middle of a project. But <laughs> yes. that's not bad though, yeah. is it? Yeah. But I mean, on something like this, you need at least five bobbins and yeah. if you're going to quilt it yourself even more so you know having all your bobbins ready because it is annoying when you're well, mid, yeah, and also mid just project to, to and you have for to me it's to not have to re-thread my machine that yeah. would be it for me yeah so i was a bit skeptical when i saw it. i thought does it wind as tightly as a machine yeah fine oh yeah. I thought, because you've got your you know tension your here really tight yeah but. i mean something i did wonder which i haven't tried so i I couldn't recommend it, but I did wonder whether you could, if you've run out sort of mid, mid yes. project, I wondered whether you could have this by your sewing machine and then have the, th the thread run through your sewing oh, machine okay. into this. So I don't know. So I'll try it and it get works, back to you. Then. So this, you have to leave your little bit of felt there because that makes your, um, your thread run nicely. So you just put your thread, you pull up the spool and then you thread it through this. Oh, let's take that. Thread that through it does the come with instructions, so don't worry, you haven't got yes, to remember it does. this. Yeah. <laughs> so that goes through and then you put it through the tension disc. Make sure that it's through properly. This is brilliant. Nothing also, with these, you these can are just keep storage. an eye on it as well, can't yeah. you? That's what I say. I've had it in the kitchen while I've been doing Well, because when it's things. on the top of the machine, sometimes I just start winding and then I look and realise I haven't done it. And then it's gone, it. gone round the spool, it's yeah. got loose and it's gone round yes, the Yes, but with this you can watch it because it's yeah. there. Yeah. So those two are the These spokes. two are just for storage. So you don't actually use those right. for the um, for the winding. So and then we go through the little hole on the bobbin and put it on the piece there. Right now this little bit here, are we let's see where we are. There we yeah, are. Nice this middle. little piece here then goes in oh, against, just like on your machine. against the bobbin, yeah. And you're nice. just gonna press here. Now 
while it's not running, I'll tell you, you don't actually switch it off here. So don't, when you take it out of the box, don't think that it's broken because it doesn't switch off when you press that again. I'll show you in a second. So I, all you do is you press it and off it goes. Oh, I love that. That's amazing things, it's battery, isn't it? Yeah, ta-da, that's it. So now if I press that, it doesn't actually stop it. It's this here that stops it. Ah, okay. So but once it does it's have full, instructions. yeah. Once it's full, it'll then switch itself off. So, oh, so just like your machine, it won't yeah, keep going. It won't keep going. going. No, so that's that bit there. So but that's if you want to not have a full bobbin, yeah, because you haven't got the thread left, like I quite often don't. I yeah, don't if you just want to run the little bit, yeah, you just flick the switch. Yeah. I love that. And that that's is. it. <laughs> and then those other little spikes. After These the are just once you've store. once you've done and it all some, comes you, in you store it. With the lid and everything. There we go. Fantastic. So you can pack it away. If you're going to classes, yeah, you can get well, someone else. When who I looks do like workshops, they don't have anything to do. Yeah, when I do workshops and I'm providing thread, mm. I give people a bobbin of thread rather than a whole reel of thread. Yeah, of course. Because obviously. Um, bumps up the price of the workshop, doesn't Indeed. it, if you're given a whole spread thread. So I um, mm. I bought, buy bobbins and put the thread on the bobbins. It's okay for metal bobbins as well. Oh, okay. Because even my vintage machine bobbins are okay. Right, that's so interesting, because I know, because you can't use like the plastic ones in vintage machines, because no. I've got an old singer and the plastic yeah. ones won't work. Yeah, but, but it does work with oh, the metal okay. bobbins as well. I love the way it's so neat as well. It's got the little lid. Yeah. And so then, yeah, what, what you would do is you would take that off and then you can as you're doing them you can store them there take that out push that down and then you're done and it's a, like a little suitcase can you use the nine millimeter bobbins on it what are they what are they yes what I've are they? never had any different bobbins is that, that was a, a question is that a a narrow one because I've got my Singer Featherweight. Have well, it very says up to thin. what size bobbins is the question. Can you wind on this? Will it do the bigger nine millimeter ones? Well, I've never seen different size no, bobbins. No, all my machines have taken the same size. Yes. Some are metal, some yeah. are plastic. I mean, my Featherweight is it's um, a, a very narrow one, and I haven't tried. I don't think that would work because they're very narrow, and I don't know where. Oh, mind you, it might. I'll try it and get back. I've to only you. ever seen bobbins that size, so mm. interesting. If you know, uh, you know, if you've got a photo, or show us what you mean. We can also well, give it a go yeah. if we've got one. I'll get hold of one, and I've got lots of old machines. So have I. That yeah. use, but they use metal ones, and yeah. the plastic ones won't work in them. Yeah. No, no, because if it's got the no, normally if you've got the actual bobbin casing that comes out and goes in the front. Yes. You have to use a metal normally in those, don't you? Yes, yes, yeah. and then and I've tried the plastic and it doesn't yeah. work. But oh yeah. well. We, we don't know, because we don't know what yeah, that bobbin no, is. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'll but Google you can it when I go off in a minute. We'll, we'll find out and let you yeah. know. But it's lovely, isn't it? Because it's like a little suitcase. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. What a great <laughs> thing. Well, thank you so much, um, Alison. Right. When you're supposed to be sitting having a cup of tea and your breakfast, <laughs> almost half of the stock has gone now, and there was a lot, lot in baskets. It's 19 99 We've checked the price of it. That's a really competitive price. Very, very good stocking filler or gift for anyone who sews. And it's a great thing to give to someone else, say, could you just wind all my bobbins for yeah. me? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Alison. That's brilliant. We Mike, will see you, know you what's back. going to happen now. Yeah, he's going to be winding all your bobbins. Yeah. Well, we'll see you back at nine. Yes, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, nine millimetre bobbins are for lock hats, those are for long armed quilters. Oh, right. I don't know. We it's, don't know. Yeah. Don't know because we if I got could one. get hold of one, I would try. And, yes, and but we find, don't. Yeah, mm, don't know. I know a friendly um, machine mechanic that I might be able to ask, and I'll get back. Okay, <laughs> if we can find out for you, we will let you know. But that's it. Well, didn't know that. Mm. Or ask on the um, fans page. They'll probably know. They oh, know yes. everything. Yeah, they know everything. Yeah. Don't fountain know. knowledge, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. So you always put in a question. You know that someone yeah. will know the answer for yeah. it. It's fantastic. Right. right okay. We'll see you back yes. in about forty-five minutes. I'm gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Make sure you keep on going through that. Very, very popular. Obviously, it's a wonderful gadget. We've only got just over ten left. I really want one of those. It's not often I see a gadget that I haven't ever seen before, but that was a new one on me. Love it. Right, so 
Coming up on Sewing Street today, we have got now at eight o'clock, we've got fabulous fabrics. And they really are fabulous because I had to look at them all this morning. They are gorgeous and they're selling already. We've got some bundles as well there for you. Nine o'clock, um, Alison is back with us. She's got two projects. She's going to be showing us um, how to make her fidget cushions and she's got some kits for those. And also, oh look, there's, there's one of them. They're really lovely. They've got all little sort of tags and bubbles and bits and zips on them. Really good. Children love them. Really good for um, adults with dementia. They're, um, they're lovely. Alison will tell you more about them. Little pocket in the back to put books in. Ever so popular. And also her quilt as well. She's going to be showing you at eight o'clock. So that's two. Two projects. That'll be lovely at nine o'clock even. Um, Ten o'clock we've got bundle deals. We have got bundles and bundles of fabric. Really lovely. And we put them together and shaved a little bit of money off. Um, other bundles as well. It's all about the bundle at ten o'clock. Oh, and the tape measures are back in stock. If you were watching yesterday, we've got beautiful, you know those proper old-fashioned roll-up tape measures with the press stud? We've got those back in stock because we didn't have as we didn't have enough yesterday and they all sold out. I love them. They'll remind you of sewing with your grandmother. Just lovely. Anyway, we've got those back in stock. That's at 10. 11 o'clock, Alison is back with us with to demonstrate how to make this beautiful Valerie Wells trellis quilt. Now, we have never had any fabrics or designs or anything from Valerie. Valerie is a very well-known and extremely talented American fabric designer, and she designs patterns as well. She creates her own fabric. She's got a really long history and knowledge in art and does a lot of block printing for them. This beautiful quilt behind me, this is it. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's like over two metres square. And um, Alison is going to be showing us how to make it. Very good price on that as well, because the kit's got everything you need, except for the budging, obviously. But um, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Really like, and it's interesting. I mean, Alison says it is, looks complex, but Alison says it's quite easy. It's got a little bit of a curve in it, but she says it's quite a simple piecing project. So that's beautiful. Um, on cold, wintry days, wet days like now, it really sort of cheers you up with all the flowers, doesn't it? And then at 12 o'clock is Yarn Lane. We have actually got Yarn Lane, yes. Sorry, yesterday I said we were going to Yarn Lane, got really confused. But today we have actually got Yarn Lane. And it's all about, we've got some um, Christmas kits. We've got pom-poms. Alison's going to be back with us and show us how to make pom-poms and give you lots of ideas. We've got books and yarn packs and all sorts. So that would be great. Oh, look, there's one of Alison's um, Christmas pudding wreath. I love that. But you know, in the old days when we used to have to cut two pieces of cardboard, and it took hours to make a pom-pom. We've got the pom-pom makers. She's going to show you how to do it. Really, really quick makes. Even, she showed us this morning, she'd made a little tree that you can use for the scent of a table decoration. It's beautiful. And it's great. There's no kits. It's just yarn bundles. We've got the pom-pom makers. We've got books. So it'd be a really lovely inspiration hour. And also, also, I have finished my Yarn Lane Mystery Christmas Crochet Long Blanket. Millie Mason, who was our tester, she has finished hers. I think Wendy Orlando might possibly have finished hers because she's got to bring hers in on Wednesday, so let's hope so. But I am going to show you the finished blanket because today is the last day of the week eight of the instructions going out. We still have some of the kits left, not many. So I'm going to show you at 12 o'clock the blanket. If you want to still buy a kit, um, you can because they're all available on pre order. There's not many left, but oh, has it not been the loveliest eight weeks? Anyway. Well, that's 12 o'clock. Right, today it's the 6th of December, so that can only mean it is the 6th day of Christmas. What was 6? Um, six, mm, 6 swans are swimming? No, 6 geese are laying. 6 geese are laying, 5 got 6 geese are laying. So, but, or in the world of Sewing Street, 6, free pattern today. So, you're going to get one. You get one. It's the sixth day of Christmas. So everyone who shops with us today gets a free pattern. Random. Can't tell you what they are. All completely random. Just depends on what happens. Um, but you will know what you're going to get because it will tell you on the bottom of your order. So whatever you put, anyone who shops on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane today on the website or um, through, the, through the, what we're selling today on the TV, you will get a free pattern. Um, even if you've checked out on the early board, if you put the bobbin winder, even if you buy a tape measure, you will 
even if you buy a sewing machine or a tape measure, you will get a free pattern. And that is only on orders between now and midnight because it's the 6th. Tomorrow, there's another offer. Don't know what it is though, surprise. So the 12 days of Christmas, we're giving you, if you haven't seen it before, we're giving you special offers and prizes. Yesterday it was 5% off because it was the fifth. Today it's a pattern. Now, if you shop for six days between now and the 12th of December, any six days, doesn't have to be six days in a row, any six days, you will get free P&P for the whole of January. So if you buy something on the 1st, the 3rd, the 6th, the 9th, 10th, 11th, if you buy it, it doesn't matter what days, as long as you shop six days, doesn't matter how much you spend either, as long as you shop for six of the days in the first 12, you get free P&P for the whole of January. Amazing. Anyway, let's have a little look at the website. So if you want to shop with us today, um, you need to go on to www.sewingstreet.com. If you click on Watch Live, this is the easiest way to shop with us on what we've got. Now, you can see there are two columns. We have got today's show deals. Those are the things that I've already talked about and shown you. On the right-hand side, you've got pre-order. Those are the things that are coming up but I haven't talked about yet. So, this is the way to get ahead. Because you know what it's like when these things sell out? Because it's not clearance today. It's all lovely, lovely, lovelies. These are all of our brand new fabrics in the first hour. So if you want to get ahead, you can buy it ahead of time. Look at these beautiful new solids. I'll show you them in detail, but they are gorgeous. We've got some thread there. Lovely. Um, then we move on to Alice and Marion's Reach for the Stars kit. Right, so the quilt kit that she's going to be doing. I told you she was going to be doing the fidget cushion and the quilt. This beautiful quilt, you get two and a half metres of fabric and the instructions. She's going to be coming on air with us at nine to show that. We have got less than ten left of those. You've been buying on pre-order. Anyway, if you want to get ahead so you can just sit back, you've got it. Don't forget to check out though, because even if you pop it in your basket, it's not yours until you check out. I know I say that every time, but we have had people that have been caught out by that. We've also got the fidget cushion kits back in stock from Alison as well. Very, very popular. They absolutely love them. They make really good Christmas presents. Um, the Christmas charms. Oh, there's only 20 left. Every time Alison brings these beautiful Tibetan silver Christmas charms, they're gorgeous. They just sell out and we've only got 20 left. So if you want um, them, they are beautiful. I was just having a little look at them earlier. I did say to Alison, can I put them in the Christmas pudding? She says, best not really. They're for hanging on things. Um, then there's all the other items from that hour. Um, then we move on to bundles. We Things like bundles of glue stick refills, always need those. Really, I don't know how, how I get through so many, but that's a really good way of um, stocking up because we've sold quite a few glue pens recently with projects, so we thought we'd sell the refills. Uh, lots of fabric bundles. We've got the final bundle that we sold a, couple, a week or so ago. Oh, I thought we, oh, that was yesterday. Oh, just too complicated. Oh, I got, I got confused yesterday. I don't know what's going to happen today. Um, now, there's the tape measures. Look, so hang on, stop there, Kat. I love these tape measures only because they've got inches on one side and centimetres on the other, and they've got that little press stud, and it's really strong as well. It's, it really reminds me. My mum used to have one of these in her sewing box. Anyway, we've got them in a pack of two. Don't forget the tape measures. Love them. And we're going to crash the price on those. Then there is the kit. There's the kit, the quilt kit. Isn't it beautiful? Well, you've seen it hanging behind me. It's lovely, isn't it? Loads and loads of fabric. And it is all beautiful, exclusive Valerie Wells fabric. It's designed by her, printed and created by her, and she designed the pattern as well. It's gorgeous. We'll show you the fabric with um, Alison in more detail when we get there. But if you want to get ahead and make sure that you get the kit before they sell out, then pop on to pre-order and get it. Um, then we go through all of the other items that are in the hour. We've got scissors and glue pens and a lovely thread collection. So Valerie also has created with Aurafil her own thread collection, which complements her fabrics. And we've got that as well, because it's like the very Wells. So please do shop ahead, go onto sewingstreet.com, click on watch live, go on to pre-order. That way you can get ahead and be sure that you don't miss out. So let's talk about fabric. Small, small brand new, this one. 
Oh, these. Sorry. I was wondering if you said one made, I was confused. Oh, these are nice. Oh, I love this. So you've got two half metres in this. It's all about donuts. The two fabrics are the same, but just different colourways. Look at these. Macaron, sweet, donut. These are so pretty, aren't they? You've got like donuts with sprinkles on them and cupcakes with strawberries. And you've even got, have you got, yeah, the little donuts. And then you've got here a row of all the little macarons. I like the fact as well that the words go either it's multi-directional, so there isn't a right way up. It means you don't, there's nothing worse than when you say something like this, you think I've got it the wrong way up. There isn't a right way up. It's very pretty, very fresh. You've got a pale ivory background, all sort of pinks and yellows and blues. Really pretty. Little kitchen makes. I mean, just like a little tea cozy, even a pot holder. But if you wanted to sort of freshen up a bit and you wanted a new pair of oven gloves, beautiful, aren't they? Or um, little treat bags because they've all got sweets on. Very nice. If you were doing like a kid's party or an even adult's party and you wanted to make little treat bags because they are so pretty. I love that one. So you get in this bundle, you get half a metre of that one and not just one, no, no, no. You get half a metre of this one, which is all in shades of sort of teal and peach. Beautiful, aren't they lovely together? So for 10.79, you get half a metre of each of them. Shall I show them together? These fabrics, whoa, these are exclusive to Sewing Street as well. Nobody else is allowed to sell these. They have been given especially to us. Not made by us, but they are, oh, we are the only people who will be stocking these fabrics. Aren't they pretty? Got a message from Elizabeth. Just put in an order and getting the stars in the corner quilt pattern. Ooh. That's an, Emma Brad that's an Emma Bradford pattern. Oh, it's interesting to know what you're getting. So it does tell you when you check out which pattern that you're going to get. Not bad, is it? Those patterns are 9 99 you know. If I order two units of extra wide backing, does it come in one piece? Yes, Margaret, it does. Any fabric that we sell that says at the end of it 0.5 metres, that means that we sell it cut to order. So if you order two metres like you have done, you'll have put four units in your basket. It will be sent as one whole piece. If we sell fabric where it's in a bundle, it's pre-cut like this, where you get two half metres, then you get the two half metres. But if the fabric is described at the end by 0.5 metres, that means that it will be cut as one whole piece. Oh, and someone else will ask where my jumper's from. Well, I bought it from um, White Stuff, actually. But last year, and not only that, I bought it in the sale. I was doing some research for Yarn Lane on jumper colours, and I saw this, and they only had like R, X and J left. I thought, half that. And then a week later, I went in to get another one for a friend of mine who's called Rachel, and um, they sold out. So I don't think you can get them anymore, but it's so pretty, isn't it? So pretty. Yes, it goes with the quilt behind me. It actually goes with this fabric today. Now, there are lots of you who've bought multiples of this, of this bundle. Remember, it is pre-cut. You get two half metres, but it is lovely. And it's your normal 44-inch 44 width quilting weight fabric. It's so pretty and fresh. We've been doing a lot of clearance, a lot of Christmas, a lot of stuff. And to see something pretty and fresh and bright is a joy, isn't it? And do you know what? Because this is in stripes. It goes horizontally, selvage to selvage. Um, you could use it for borders. So if you were if you wanted to make the most of it, say you were going to make little treat party bags, make them in some calico or some cream cotton or something, and you could just sew a stripe of this as a border on, make it go even further. Now we do are oh, actually as well. This is the bundle, the ten seventy nine for the two half meters. But if you want to, it was ten percent saving. If you want to buy this fabric by the half meter because you're thinking. I want to make more, I want to make some kitchen curtains with that. And you want to buy off the bolt, you can. So the pink and yellow one, if you wanted to buy like a metre and a half of this, then it's 5 99 for half a metre. Just put the number of units in half metre increments that you want in your basket. It will be sent to you as one whole cut piece. The other offer we had was with the two half metres. Morning all, just ordered my bobbin winder. I've got an Alison Marion bag pattern from Trisha in Warwickshire. Don't tell. Oh, now you see how much are those pants? I'm sure they're 9 99 aren't they? 
It's really nice that you get told what you're getting. Thank you. I've got Delphine's tiger pattern. Well, now that, wasn't that tiger pattern only on it the other week? Amazing. So, if you don't like the pattern you get, we can't swap them over because it's just far too complicated. Put it on the fan page. You could just say, now I've got that. Does anyone want to swap it with something else? We can't swap them around because you can imagine how complicated that would be. But the fans are great. They love swapping stuff. So if you get one that you don't want and you want to swap it, see if someone else wants to swap with me, then you could do. That's a really good offer, isn't it? I'm liking the free pattern day. So if you want to buy it by the half metre, this is the um, blue and pink one. Well, it's called pink. Five ninety nine for half a metre, which is really good because it's a lovely weight as well. I mean, it's your quilting weight, but you know how quilting weight, you get some that are softer and silky than others. It's quite a nice, a good weight to it. I like this. Very crisp. Again, by the half metre, exclusive to us. Nice for a little girl's dress or I'm thinking a nighty or even pyjamas, little short pyjamas or um, like a little pyjama bag. You could make some long pyjama bottoms, buy a little t-shirt, maybe a pink one or a blue one, pop that in, make a little bag for it. Wouldn't be a nice, or a nice like pyjama bag just to put on the bed. So that's that one by the half metre. And then if you prefer or want as well, the, the orange one, which is sort of peachy, peachy tealy, peachy. This one by the half metre, $5.99. Really good for EPP. If you're doing some EPP, because these little motes are sm so small, you know, you could cut out so that you've got the cake or the donut in the middle or the macaron. Um, good for applique as well. If you're making um, a little scene and you want some extra pieces on it, because the pieces are so small, they'd be ideal for you, like your little um, two inch EPPs. But this is this is if you're buying it off the bolt of five ninety nine for half a metre. But if you want a little saving and you can't decide between the two and you want half a metre of each, then that's your £10.79 bundle. Like that. Next new exclusive fabric. Is it this one? Should we go this one? Ooh, oh, this is a bit like retro. Retro technology. So we've got two of these. Um, one with the pink background and one with the blue background. Again, this is exclusive to us. So £12.59 and you get two half metres. Now look what we've got on here. I love <laughs> this is great. Where's my finger? There we go. There we go. We've got a television, an old telephone, a flask. Do you remember those flasks? They were massive flasks in the 70s, weren't they? A blender, an old sewing machine, a kettle, Oh, an old alarm clock. So this is, this is after yesterday. Um, thank you for everyone who messaged me on Facebook after yesterday and sent me some things that you can actually make with marrow that you'd want to eat. Because um, we had a long conversation, Mark and I, about stuffed marrow and how horrible it is. And then a couple of you messaged me on Facebook with, it can be nice if you cook it in a different way, so I'm going to give it a go. Love the toaster. Look at that, with flour on it. One of those really old radios, a proper iron. I, it's the flask. I remember those flasks. They were massive. They used to fill up your whole picnic basket. Um, so you can get it on the pink and then you get half a metre of that one. Or, no, and in the bundle, we'll do bundle first. A line, this blue is a real um, petrol blue. Same motifs. Oh, you even got a record player. I know it's funny actually when you look at the old Hoover, when you look at the, the different colours, different things stand out. This is lovely, isn't it? I love the old fan. But, you know, for things like little storage boxes or even, you know, just a fun makeup bag, wash bag. But um, be brilliant though for EPP as well because of the little motifs because they're so small. A tie, you could make someone a tie. You could make a tie. Can you imagine that? Say, so look at me, I'm so trendy with my vintage retro tie. You could. Um, so in this, there's even a piggy bank. So in this bundle, you get two half metres. You get half a metre of the blue. Remember, it's quite a pet, deep, like tealy petrol blue. And then a really super candy, candy pink bright. You get half a metre of each of those. That's £12.59. And that saves you 10% by buying the two together. But if you love it and you want it cut off the bolt because you want more than half a metre or you just want half a metre of this pink one or you need three metres of it, then it is available to 
by the half meter. It's six ninety nine for half a meter, exclusive to us as well. You can't get hold of this anyway. I like in this that we're getting exclusive fabric. Mm. Thank you very much, Paul, Paul, chief buyer, for buying us exclusive fabric. Very nice. Half a meter retro technology pink fabric. But if you want to buy the blue one by the half meter, I think a shirt, man shirt, how cool. Can you imagine how much, I mean, what is it? It's normally about two metres, two and a half metres for a man shirt. Can you imagine if you bought a man shirt and this would cost an absolute fortune? It's so cool, isn't it? I love that. That would be a great shirt. We'll get John Scott to make himself one. I'm sure he'd love to do that. He'd look cool in that. Nice colour as well. Nice strong colour. So if you want this one by the half metre, 6 99 for uh, retro to technology, oh, it's called teal, yeah, because it's a really deep tealy petrol blue, half a metre, exclusive to Sewing Street. Can't get hold of this anywhere else. £6.99. So if you want um, two metres of it, put four units in your basket and it will be sent as one whole cut piece. There we go. And we've got a, what, another one, another brand new exclusive bundle. Hang on a minute. It's so this fabric is called, let's start with the white one, Breakfast with Everyone. Now, in the bundle, you get two half metres. One has got a white background and one has more of like a calico background. Look at the white one first. How are you today? How are you? Today is a nice day. Established 1928. Love that. Breakfast with everyone. Toast for nuts. Um, then you've got a... <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Favourite bread, croissant, baguette, coffee. You've got a newspaper, spoons. This is lovely, isn't it? But, you know, if you, things like napkins, a half metre will make you two napkins and you get two half metres in this bundle. Um, placemats... Um, you know, when you make a little cloth, you could put a little cloth that goes in your tray or in your bread basket. Very nice. You could make it into a tablecloth if you odicated it or a lunch bag. You know, a little lunch bag that you take to work would be very nice, wouldn't it? Breakfast with everyone. I love that. Or an apron. Obviously, you need you will need half, more than half a metre. You'd have to buy it buy the half metre when you do that. So in the bundle, you get half a metre of this one with the white background. And then you get half a metre of this one. And it's more of a, um, like a calico. Because on the background, it's the colour of calico. So you can see the difference. But it has got that very slight fleck in it that a, that a calico does. So you get half a metre of, they exactly have the same. Oh, really? This one's got... Isn't it funny? There's not much difference in colour. But on this one, the homemade marmalade jam stands out, which I didn't notice on that one. Oh, I love marmalade on toast. Proper granary toast. Thick butter that you can see your teeth marks in. And then really sharp um, marmalade, but not really thick peel. Thin peel. I don't like thick peel. But you have to have it so that you can still see your teeth in the butter. Oh. Anyone going to put the toaster on? I'd love a piece of that now. So it drips. Put the toaster on. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? I love that. But I like this one because it's got that sort of flecky calico background. So in this bundle, 12 59 you get a half metre of each. And very unusual. I like this. We've got a message from Marion. Hi, Rebecca. Great to walk down Mary La Memory Lane. Beautiful things to buy. But it's look, don't touch time unless I get a pension rise. I know. We'll have a word with Boris, shall we? Saying, please, can Marion have a pension rise? Because there's some very nice fabric she needs to be buying. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm sure he'll understand. He's probably a fellow quilter. He'll get it. Cat <laughs> just laughed quite loudly at that. Right, if you want to buy it by the half metre because you want to be making an apron or... Wouldn't it make a lovely little curtain? You know when you've got just that little win that little window in your kitchen, um, or when those half cafe curtains, gorgeous. But or maybe you know at Christmas if you're putting together a hamper for someone, you could make a little cloth to go inside that, couldn't you? Make a nice bag though, just like just a really simple tote bag. 
because you've got in a half a meter you've got enough for the front and the back it would just look lovely you'd look you know you could look um very french couldn't you go to the supermarket take the french stick out of its plastic wrapper and pop it in your tote bag i love the marmalade bread bag yes i used to have a bread bag I have this issue with mice at the moment. I have to keep all my bread in a plastic box and they keep coming in. It's I, but do you know what's weird is they don't eat anything except for the bread and the potatoes. They don't eat the carrots or the swede and they don't eat parsnips, but they keep eating potatoes. So I have to keep them in a bag as well. Very, very strange. Anyway, if you want this by the half metre, 6 99 That's the white one. If you want the sort of calico effect one, by the half meter, that's this one. This one is selling on, has been selling on pre-order as well. It'd look nice as an apron. Shall I model it? Yeah, you think of Alison's, if anyone gets that free pattern, yeah? Alison's apron would look nice in that, wouldn't it? Nice little pocket, few straps. Well, I, if you get a metre of it, that's enough for an apron. You could use some just webbing for the straps. It's lovely. Or, or one of those little, you know, little ones, a little bit of a frill. Like a, are they called cafe aprons? Those sort of thing. Half apron, you know, very simple. 6 99 for half a metre. Totally exclusive. You can't get this anywhere else. Um, thank you very much, Chief Buyer Paul, who bought it for us. He's Chief Buyer Paul. Chief, we're just going to chief for short. Big, right, let's go for big stash builder bundle. Now, these are new. Ooh. We haven't got an image on the website because it was a bit last minute when we put it together. So you just have to remember what I'm going to show you. So in this bundle, you get nine metres of fabric. I'm going to show you them one by one but you get nine metres of fabric in this bundle. Look at that. They're not solids either. They've got a slight, either like a lin linen effect or um, a wash, a colour wash effect. Um, £101.83. But if you want to buy it on split pay because you want to spread the payments, and you think, well, I'll just pay half now, half later. £50.91. Now we will send you the bundle and then £50.91. £50 you will be charged after Christmas in January. And you save five ninety nine because you're only paying for eight and a half metres. So let's go through them. I'm going to try and do it in some vague order. Black. <laughs> Always need black. And you can't see it very well on screen, I know. But this black, when I show you the lighter ones, it will show up more. There's a colour wash to it. It's not solid, solid. So you've got black. Then you've got charcoal grey in that colour wash. Now you can pick that. That does show up more. Doesn't show up very well. You'll see it there, but there's the like a charcoal grey colour wash. Then we move on to a pale grey. That's number three. Um, oh, I think we'll go brown next. Then we've got milk chocolate, half a metre of. Um, then we've got a pale beige, like a neutral colour. Then we have pillar box red now this is not your those are the color washes this is more of a, a linear wash but again it's not solid so that's pillar box red then we've got tomato red you see and that's lovely isn't it because you don't often get the two different shades of red but that is like a blue red and that's like an orange red um, then we have sunshine yellow that's nice, isn't it? Um, then we move into like a mustardy gold colour. I'm moving around the colours. Red, orange, yellow, green. Then we've got um, grass. Grass green. That's nice, isn't it? See, isn't that lovely? You know when you've got, if you want to do, um, you're doing a bit of a plique or something, and you want that really bright summer grass green. And isn't it lovely that it's not a solid? It's got that sort of wash effect to it. So that's your grass green. In my next life, I'm going to be a paint um, colour de um, describer. Because it's I'd never call something green, so it's going to be got. This is um, shades of lime. Shades of lime. Lime tonic, I'd go. 
red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Then we have, um, well, that's not navy. That's more of your French blue because it's not as dark as a navy. Then we have, oh, Mediterranean sea blue. This is massive. I'm, I'm still going. I'm still going. Then we've got the sky on a lovely sunny day blue. It's not, that's not a very catchy title, is it? Swimming pool blue, that is. Swimming pool blue. Um, Miami swimming pool blue. Um, then we've got, we're going on to the purples, but this is more of a deep fuchsia purple. Um, then we've got a slightly paler one. That is the colour of Kat's car. That's the colour of my car. You should see us when we pull into the car park. Yesterday we did it almost at the same time. We look like a beautiful, colourful thing. And I've got a yellow car and Kat's got a car exactly that colour. We look so cool. Yeah, you should see mine is quite, quite dirty now. And then, so look at that. You've got three shades of sort of fuchsia purple. And then you've got a pale lilac at the end. So there's your bundle. Nine metres. The black is hiding at the bottom. So you've got half a metre of all of those. What a fantastic bundle. I mean, you know, when you, you know what it's like. It's a bit like thread when I said earlier. You've never got quite the right colour. You get this bundle, you've definitely got the right colour. Everything you need. I'm going to pile them all back up. Now, all of these we do have available by the half meter. I'm not going to go through them all, take ages. I've shown you them all now. So if you go on to sewingstreet.com, if you go on to watch live, then you will be able to see them all there. Scroll down. I'm going to just arrange my fabric while you're doing that. Um, they're all there on the pre-order section where if you want to buy, if you think I love that grass green, it's perfect for the sashing on my quilt, but I need two metres. It won't be called grass green, obviously, because they don't let me name the fabrics. Otherwise it would be. It would be called solid green. But if you're thinking I would like more of that, then because uh, you, you need more for whatever you make, and then you can buy it by the half. It will come, it will come as a, cut, a piece cut to order, like our normal fabric. Look at that, look at that. Can you think you can, can you think you can get it in? Look, there we go, the whole bundle. Massive. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna pile them all back up again now. Now we are limited on this because we only created a certain number of bundles. Because we haven't got this, we didn't have all the same quantity. Not all of them are available by the half meter. It just depends on what we can get hold of, to be honest. You know, if only we could buy more, but you can't always. Right, look at that. It's in colour order now, it feels so much better. Should we do bees? Show me the honey. So we've got a bundle of one, two, three, four, eight. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fabrics, all bee related. So I'm thinking, you know, all of these products that people are making at the moment where you can make, um, you take some of this and then you can buy beeswax or you can buy that silicon wax um, and you put it into a baking tray, you put a square of it and you put it in the oven and then it melts on it and then you can use it instead of cling film. Beeswax wraps, that's what they're called. Lots of different things that people are making with these. Well, you can use a special, um, is it called, it's not silicon, there's another, I can't think what it's called because I bought some that isn't beeswax and it does the same thing because obviously for vegans they wouldn't use the, the beeswax. But you can buy, I can't think what it's called, it begins with S. Anyway, in this bundle you get half a metre of this one which has got all the beehives, you've got honey, you've got um, those honey stirrers and bees all over it. Then you get half a metre of this one. I like that. So you've got um, like a honeycomb in the background and bees all over it. Lovely print. And then this one's pretty, isn't it? Because this is like a black and white floral print, but all set against the honeycomb background. It's really pretty. I think the black and white really stands out against it. Then you've got another um, print the same but all in black and white and the bees this time are in yellow so they really stand out. Then you get half a metre of this one that's got the honeycomb with the black, the black honeycomb with the yellow bees. Then you get, oh I like this one, half a metre of jars of honey. That's lovely isn't it? Like, there's so much you could do with this. You want to make a bee quilt, there's a lot here isn't there? 
and then you get this one with the black background. So these are all in sort of, all the prints are in two colourways. Then this one's like, well, it's not black, it's more of a charcoal slaty grey with the honeycombs. And then finally, this one isn't in it, this, that one's the only colourway it's in. Um, again, that sort of charcoal slate grey background, but with sunflowers on. So, fifty-eight ninety-nine, and you can have half a metre of all of these. They're lovely, aren't they? So if you want, I mean, bee fabric is always, always really popular. So many things. I mean, obviously, you, you, you think of kitchen, don't you? But I see so many quilts now that are all based around bee fabrics because they're just joyful, aren't they? Because um, have you seen the quilt that Jelfine did? It, there's a bee. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So if you're doing a plique, oh, quilt, got a message. Message? Message from Anne. Hi, Becky. I got Christmas in quilts, bird quilt instructions by the Swift Quilting Company. Thank you. That's good. Oh, now I've seen that one. I. That's an Emma Bradford. I did the Halloween in Quiltsburg quilt and she was telling me on air with her and I, she was telling me about the Christmas one. That's a fantastic free gift, isn't it? But don't remember everyone, everyone who shops with us on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane between now and midnight will get a free pattern, one per person. And when you order, it will tell you what your pattern is. Tell us, it's fascinating because you can't choose. It's completely random, but you know a lot of these patterns are nine ninety nine, so that's a fantastic price. So there's all my bee fabric. If you would prefer, if you want the bundle, that's fifty eight ninety nine. If you want to buy it by the half meter instead, because you think, well, I really love this one, and I want more of it because I'm going to make something specific, I'm going to make my apron, then you can buy it by the half metre and it will be um, sent as one cut piece to whatever quantity you want. So the one that I've got in my hand, 7 49 for half a metre, aprons, it's very kitchen, tea cosy, egg warmers, egg warmers, tea cosies, put in your bread basket, thinking of just cheer up your kitchen a little bit. But you know, if you've been making jam, and I know it's bees and honey, but you could put these on the top because they're just pretty, aren't they? But think, you know, if because this is available by the half meter, think about dressmaking as well. You know, if you love like this one, beautiful dress, little tea dress, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Um, so this one, that's the code for this one, seven forty nine. If you want half a meter of that, it's your normal forty four inch width quilting weight cotton. Absolutely normal. Let's do the lovely um, sunflower one. I really like the black background of that because it's a real sort of slate grey. I think that's really pretty. Quite a classy look to that one. Like that one. Um, should we do beehives in charcoal? It's probably not called that. But it's the same as the white one that I showed you first. So it's like kind of your, your grey. So it's called grey. Show me the honey in grey honeycomb hive. That's that one. Um, now, if you want the honey jars, this one's got a black background. Like this one. It's really striking. Let's have a look at it. A little, a little bit more of it. Look at that. It's like a honey jar shop. They're all just stacked up, aren't they? It's really pretty. I love that one. I like the fact that you've got some of the lids that are black and white stripes as well, interspersed with a crown on them. So that's the bee, the honey jars. Um, then we have the all over honeycomb look. It's lovely because there's a real sort of texture, the way that this has been printed, it's quite mottled. Um, some of these fabrics are quite limited, so if you do want them and you're buying them by the half metre, because you want more than half metre or whatever, um, do get them in your basket, in check out, get them in your basket, because some of these are quite limited. The bee fabric is always really popular. So that's the one with the yellow background. Always. Well, I don't know, there's just something about bees. Do they just make you smile, don't they? We also have it on a... Um, the grey background as well, but lots of you, you know, if you look in any of the shops on the websites, you will see there's always a range, particularly at the kitchen or even live or even bedroom range that will have some bees on them. So that's the one on grey, £7.49 for half a metre. Will be cut to order, 
But the lovely cutters in our warehouse who pick your orders up and cut exactly what you want. You won't be sent it as individual. Oh, look at the salvage. Have a little, little, quick look at the salvage on that. Look. Loving a salvage. It's got bees on. Bees in different colours. I'm always collecting salvages. One day I'm going to have enough to make a skirt. I'm going to sew them all together in rows to make a salvage skirt. But I've, I have got a very, very large jar full of them. but still haven't got enough. And then finally, so that's the one with the flowers on with the grey background. And then finally from this collection, we've got the one with flowers on. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I like the sort of the black and white flowers. But interesting with this, you see the bees on the other one really show up. You can't see the bees as well, but when you look really carefully. Yeah, because look, you see, look at the black one. There where you can see the bees. So when you look at this, and they're in the same place, but they're just hiding a bit more. Show me the honey. So that's all of them. So you can choose whether you buy the bundle where you get all eight fabrics by the half metre, or if you like a specific one, then you can buy them um, pre-cut to order, depending on how much you want. Just put the number of units you want. But if you like these and you just want a little taster, we've also got them available as fat quarters. Just three of them. Now, these are different ones, though, to the ones in there. So, you know that lovely charcoal sunflower one I liked? These, aren't, these fabrics are not available in the other bundle. So you've got half, a fat quarter of this gorgeous sunflower one. Then, these three actually go really nice together. This is just the honeycomb. So this is used on the background of two of the other fabrics, but this is it without any other print on it. So that floral one, it's in the background of that. And the one with the um, just the bees on, it's in the background. So you get just the honeycomb. But look at the, all the different colours. It's like a wash. It's a real textured effect. It's, it's, it's not, just, not just hexagons. A lot of detail in there. And then another fat quarter. So this is your three fat quarter pack. And that's it with the charcoal. So that's what they all look like together. So if you love them, but you just want a small taste of them. And don't they go together? Isn't that lovely? So you've, because you've got the exactly the same shade of goldy yellow, honey yellow in that one as in the sunflowers. And then the centre of the sunflowers is the same as the colour of the um, honeycomb in that one as well. So that's 11 99 well, where did the hour go? Where did that hour go? So we're going to go for a break. Please keep checking out. Have we got any of the um, thread spool binders left, Kat? Oh, they've all gone. They've all gone. Oh, and we've also sold out of Alice and Marion's Reach for the Stars quilt kit. We have got the instructions on their own, though, so don't worry, we will be talking about that. So um, join me in a couple of minutes. We've got Alison, who's going to be showing us how to make her fidget cushion with a variety of choice of kits. And we do have some instructions for the Reach of the Stars quilt, but just not the kits. So I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes with Alison. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out you will only pay one pmp even if you check out multiple times in one day stuck for ideas for the perfect gift why not get them a gift card you can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. 
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. And welcome back to Sewing Street. We've got the lovely Alison with us, who's going to be showing us how to do this gorgeous fidget cushion. I've just been sat here, um, actually undoing the zips. It's really good. So the, it was designed by um, Alison in the beginning. So Alison, well, welcome back again. Thank tell you. us <laughs> the inspiration behind the design, rather than me tell everyone. A friend of mine was asked um, by somebody that she knew, if she knew anybody that would be able to put zips on some cushions, because her mum had dementia, mm. and she was in a home, and she was, um, all the cushions and zips and things she was undoing them right okay so they wanted some on the outside and i said well i can go one step further than that so we've got buttons and beads and things like that how as did well. you decide what a to piece put of on velcro it? did you ask um, people what that what works or what they need is no, it just no, about they moving just, things they were just specific with zips and also then we came to the conclusion that uh, she would like a pocket because she she then put photographs in oh okay i've got i've got that there look she, it, this isn't hers this is one i've done but this is what they did for her so that she could 
put them in oh, that's put it in the pocket and it? she could take photographs around with her as well right okay but it's it's not specifically for that because obviously it's brilliant for kiddies as well i know i love it and, and then each kit you get a, a, fidget, a fidget toy that a you can toy. remove that These it's a key ring so that you, aren't they? i know yeah I love them. and i thought oh they would be nice to add and all the so the scrunchie yeah i like this there's a scrunchie bit there i mean if, it, if you had children that were you were in the car you might want to leave out the scrunchie bit because i think that's quite annoying after a while yeah. yeah but for children as well this is a real activity yeah. toy isn't it yeah but i can understand you know and i love this that you've got this section here, you can move the buttons around. Yeah. I mean, obviously, everything that you put on has got to be age appropriate. Yeah, you do have to you think about You know that the through. person you're yes, giving it exactly. to. exactly. So yeah. do think about that. But, you know, if you've got young children, maybe you don't put the yeah. tiny buttons on. But yeah, there's something yeah. really lovely. I just want to keep <laughs> doing the zips. Well, there's also with that, if you want to, you can... This is another square that I've done with the zip. Right. But you can turn that zip, obviously, into a pocket if you want. Oh, OK. So all you've got to do is to uh, insert the zip and then put it on top of a square. So you can customise it, you yeah. know, depending on who yeah. you're I mean, making it for. This is very different. We have done it before on the 17th of November last year. Right. Um, and these activities are quite different to the ones that had oh, there. Okay. They had pom-poms and fringing and things like that. So, I mean, you can throw everything at it. You can choose Buckles what you like. Well, you've got clasps. like little um, loops here. Yeah. I like the ribbon. Yeah. It's a, well, it's elastic. elastic. Yeah. Fold over elastic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, there's just something really lovely about it. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, there's something just nice to be at just fiddling yeah. with it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, we have got a choice of kits as well. So we'll start off with, you can get the instructions just on their own. And the instructions all come with a um, key ring. Yeah. So if you want just the instructions... I mean, that's nine ninety nine, and you get the instructions of exactly how to make it. And each one comes with a fidget key. And they, they might be different in each one. So that's an example of one of them. That's another one that you might get. That's a blue one. I mean, they will all be similar to this. They're not just, obviously, it depends on which ones Alison can get hold of. So you will get a fidget key ring and just the instructions, nine ninety nine, if you want that. However, if you want the whole kit, we've got a choice. Special. It's Put together by Alison for us. Which one do you want to start with, Kurt? This, the cable knit one. Now, this one's lovely. So, in here, obviously, you get the instructions. You get your fidget key ring. You get, what are these? All the beads. That's all and the little things. The beads, the, beads, the buttons, and the, the buttons. loops and things like that, yeah. So, I'll, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll take these it. out, but I'm yeah. not going to take any of them out in the other kits. Just so you can see what you get. So I've ruined the sticker now. That's all right, I bought bags so I can leave it. You got another sticker? Oh, yeah, I've got more bags. I won't open any more, yeah. I promise. But look, just so you can see, those are all the little bits. So you've got your piece of Velcro, you've got a bit of ribbon, you've got your bit of elastic, beads, buckles. I mean, obviously, this is a great start, and you can add to this from your own collection. But it's a good start in case you think, well, I haven't got any of those beads. But if you want to add to it, you can. But this is a great start to it. You must have spent ages having to count all these buttons <laughs> yeah. out. Very time-consuming <laughs> kit creation. It was, yes. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, with buttons, I mean, it. a lot of people have, like, a button tin, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. And my I mum do. still has a little button that came off of one of my pairs of little oh. start-right shoes. Oh. Now, wouldn't that be fantastic yes, to put Yes, things on that they remember like yeah. that. So, you know, you yeah. could go through their button collection. Yeah. Um, then you get... You're going to ruin your sticker again. Yeah, don't worry, I bought fresh ones. <laughs> um, in this one, oh, lots of ribbons and zips. Oh, yes. That's the one for your cushion. Is this for the actual cushion, the cushion though? Itself, so this yeah. one, don't cut this one up into yeah. small pieces. This is the whole, this is the actual zip cushion. But you've got, look, two other little zips to sew on. Yeah, you've got the, um, I love this fold over, it's fold over elastic, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Used for like binding things, yeah. but great for this. So fold over elastic, um, a cord, there's your other little piece, that's made into the loops. Yeah. A bit of rick rack, some more ribbon, another piece of braid. So all the ribbons and zips you need. This is fantastic value for money, Alison. $21.99. Oh, and you've got the piece of net. Now I like that because that's the bit where you put the buttons underneath on here. So you've got the piece of net. I mean, it's only little things, isn't it? But it's sort of thing that you don't ever have all of this in your stash at all. And then look at the size of this panel. This is massive. 
I'm going to hold it. There's oh. lots left over. <laughs> and there's lots left over, so you can make more than one cushion. Yeah. But you have to do the other bits. Look. I'll hold it up to show you. I mean, that pan panel on its own should be £14.99. So look, on the panel, it's lovely, isn't it? It's all prints of um, knitting. So you've got three smaller prints. Oh, nice bit of cable there. And what I've done with this one, look, I've used fabric pens. I don't know whether... Can I bring it in? Oh, so this, this is I've the one you're going to demonstrate. Yeah. And you've coloured it I've in? I've coloured it in, yeah. I think that's lovely. Mm. It's so nostalgic for a lot of people mm. as well, isn't it? Mm. They'll see that and go, oh, I remember doing yeah. something So it like doesn't that. have to stay that colour. You so you've got the big squares, smaller squares. Look at the size of this panel. And it's even got labels as well. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Twenty-one ninety-nine, And then you get all of this pa big panel that's more clearly more than big enough to make one cushion. Yes. So that is that one. Let me just... Yeah, this panel should be nineteen ninety nine on its own. Mm. Really. So, so the whole kit. I'm going to put it all back in. So, in the whole kit, you are going to get a more nicely folded up panel than that. Now, this is the only one that comes with the fabric panel. I'll show you the other. So, you get the fabric panel, the net, all the ribbons, all the buttons, and the instructions, and a fidget key ring. All of that for twenty one ninety nine doesn't add up that. <laughs> so this instructions on their own are 9.99. And then that makes everything else in the box 12 pounds. That's amazing. Amazing value. That is that one. The next one that I've got is called um what's this? Oh, uh, what's this one oh, called? That's alphabet that one. Alphabet. Mm -hmm. So in this one, I'm not going to unpack the whole thing. You've got the fidget key ring. You've got the instructions. You have all the buttons and beads, all of the braids and the zips um, and the ribbons, a piece of net, and then you get the um, the fabric piece. Is that half a metre? Yes, of um, half a metre. All the, all the fabric pieces are half a metre. But it's wide. Yeah. yeah. It's really wide, isn't it? Is that 150? Yeah. Really well, half a metre of 150 centimetre wide fabric. And this has got, this is black with alphabet all over it. Gorgeous. We're in the low teens for this one now. I love that one. Really bright, isn't it? They're all very different styles, so it does depend on who you're making it for and what you think that they would like. So that's the alphabet one. $21.99. The next one is Russian Dolls. So you get the same contents you get. You get the fidget key ring, the instructions, the buttons and the beads, um, all the zips, the piece of net, and then this gorgeous Russian Dolls fabric. All put together by Alison, so you know you've got everything. Again, you've got the half a metre of this beautiful, limey, apple green background with these gorgeous Russian Dolls all over it. They're so pretty. We've got a, mess a message from Victoria. Um, these are so good for dementia patients. And then Pat has said, I bought this kit last for a friend's granddaughter who has learning difficulties. A great hit. Oh, I mean, well, the thing is, is Alison has designed this because somebody asked her. And then I presume as you've gone on, it's, it's developed, developed yeah. by what other pe feedback yeah. from other people. Yeah. I think it's fantastic, isn't it? Because you can, like you say, you could really personalise it. I mean, you could even print photos onto fabric and put well, that into right, one yes. square, couldn't yeah. you? You know, you yeah. can, once you've got this as your starting point, yeah. Yeah. and if you find they love zips, you can make them another well, one. Yeah, that's where it came from, so, yeah. This one is, what's this one called? Uh, that's navy turtle. Navy so turtle. Turtles on that so one. again, you get the instructions, the buttons and the beads, the fidget key ring, or the zips and beads, the piece of net, and then the fabric in this one is got a navy background, and then it's got turtles, pears, flowers, tulips. That's really pretty. So did you? Um, think through why you put these specific fabrics was it like this yeah is for because of children if right. you want um, to do for children and things like that you know, okay it's, uh, these aren't just random then or oh, that will I'll have that fabric oh no because the, this um, the knit one and the the polka dot one I thought were more suitable for grown-ups and right. the other ones are more more well, for actually, children the Russian dolls I love they're for <laughs> so, anybody yeah <laughs> 
I think these are great for the car. Yeah, aren't they? brilliant to take in the car. Like that, the pocket on that one I put um, the crayons and the colouring book. Oh, of book. course, yeah. So in the back of Sorry, that, yeah. I went blank there for a minute. Yeah, you've got, um, <laughs> yeah, colouring book and crayons. Yeah. So, you know, that's the sort of thing where you could put a... Or if you go into a restaurant or something, you know, when you go in with family and you think, oh, please don't run around everywhere. <laughs> um, you can take the cushion with you and you've got some colouring pencils in it as well. And then the final one is this. Well, this the, it's the same one as the one I've got there. So you've got this lovely um, pale blue. It's quite a turquoisey blue fabric, half a metre of that. You've got the net, you have all the zips, all the beads and buttons, the fidget key ring and full instructions. So you've just got to choose now. So if if you can't decide, have a look on the go onto the website, sewingstreet.com, click on, click on watch live and scroll down. You'll see a picture of all the kits then if you need to decide which of the fabrics that you want to buy. But if you know you've got a special fabric at home that means something, I mean, you know, you could do things like you could use a piece of clothing that used to belong to them or you or meant something to well, them. Each, each of the squares could be different. Yes. And if, I mean, there's enough to do the cushion with the, it's basically a nine patch. There's enough in there to do the whole cushion. But if you wanted to mix it up, like on the, um, on the front of the instructions, mm. the, I've mixed it up with a fat quarter of a solid. Yeah, so you so could, yeah, you could you change add, that. Yeah. And, and add to it and make more than one of them. Because the problem is, if you've taken it to them and they're in a home, everybody's going to want one, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Imagine them pinching them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, very quickly, before we get on to um, Alison, is Alison has also designed this gorgeous Reach for the Stars quilt. The kits have already sold out. She's going to be talking us through it after she's demonstrated the, um, the fidget cushion, but we still have some of the instructions left. They, so the quilt that's behind me, let me shall just stand, here this beautiful quilt here we did have a fabric pack for it and a, a kit but that's sold out now but we do have the instructions it's a really good stash buster and Alison tells me it's very very easy it's beautiful isn't it so if you want just the instructions for this quilt we then we still do have those 9.99 Good introduction to our square triangle. Okay, good <laughs> introduction. Well, Alison's going to talk us through it later after she's finished with the fidget cushions. <laughs> so where do you start with, with this then? Well, obviously, you're going to do all your um, squares on the back. And like I said, it basically is basically a nine patch. Right, okay. So you've got your nine squares. And like we said, you can start here, but you can throw what you like at it, basically. Fringing is lovely, bobbles, things like that. Yeah, you've got Anything the cable that's tactile. tactile. Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Um, buckles and things like that but um and you can arrange them how you like so the zips um this one here is the one that the key ring goes on oh okay so the key ring in the goes pocket. in there and I, I specifically bought a key ring so that it's removable because yeah. you don't want to put it on with a piece of ribbon because you can't take it off then i know children might lose it that <laughs> way but <laughs> but if you want it to go in the wash that's another thing you need to think about okay. because if you want the cushion to go in the wash, you know, you will need to take that off. Everything else is fine to go in the wash, but you wouldn't want to put the um, the fidget toy in there. So I just stood here and put the three, um, three rows together, except this one here, which is the crinkly on the top. Right, okay, because that's a bit bigger. Yeah. So basically what you do to start off with is you, you put an interfacing. I haven't put it in the kit because you only need it's a 16 inch square because you're going to cut it all right. up. Um, so you need to back these with a medium weight interfacing. Having said that, I haven't done it with this one because we're going to put the top on this. So what you want to do for this one, you've got a square that's slightly bigger. All the instructions are in. There should be with the instructions. If you need medium weight another interfacing for this, then that's on the screen at the moment. If you need some of this, three ninety nine, that's more than enough because you need. What did you say? Sixteen inches. Yes, for the interfacing. Right. Yeah. So you've got inches square. more than enough there. Yeah. Um, so this this handout I've put into the instructions is specifically for these kits. Right. So. Um, Oh, actually, thinking about it, I don't know whether I put them in there because I thought 
can you just have a look? I'm te I might be telling you wrong there. In this one? No, in the instructions, because this is actually specific to the kit, so I okay. might not have put it in the instructions. Yeah, I'm telling a, a falsehood there. That isn't in there. That is in with the kit. Right. Which tells okay. you how to put in the things that you've actually got in the kit. Oh, okay. But this is just the general instructions. Yeah, but you've got the fidget yes. key ring with it. But it. So each of the instructions has got the fidget with it. It will. It, yes, it all works the same. Yeah. But obviously in the kit you get a separate sheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep this. This is going to be your, your noisy piece oh. in the pocket. So, so the bag you get to use. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, what do you put in there? I thought maybe yeah. it was greaseproof paper, but it's the bag. Yeah. So nice uh, bit of recycling, Alison. Yeah, you want a little bit of wadding, so we're going to just put a little bit of wadding. That's going to crinkle forever, in isn't as well. it? Well, yeah. <laughs> also, with the instructions, the bag that it's in would be okay. So we're going to, with this one, we're going to take each of the corners. And because this is bigger, you're going to take the fold up and we're going to do this on three corners <laughs> because obviously we need to, uh, three sides, we need to actually put the, uh, put the wadding and the crinkle in. So we're going to make it like a pocket in initially. Okay. So then in the centre, we'll just make a little, little fold. There, and on three sides. A bit like those, um, is it Suffolk Puffs? Yeah, the um, Wendy did some lovely cushions, mm. didn't she, with them all in. I think they must be lovely. I haven't done one. It's one of those things that you think, I must have a well, go I at that. I made one for as, as a chair seat cover. Yeah. Because you I do it really in that way. And then they're like just yeah. puffy and then very, very comfortable on a chair. So I'm going to sew all around the outside edge, but within the seam allowance. Okay. So I'm We've not got a message from Teresa. I've made lots of them for my mum's care home and they love them. Oh, a really lovely. great idea. Love Teresa. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that message. Well, that's what I was thinking. If you make one for... A relative is in a care home. Everyone's going to want, gonna want one. Yes. I think they're. I think they're wonderful, and I think you'd probably start off making one, and then you'd get more ideas of. Oh, I'm going to try yeah, that. Yeah, you'll be walking around, won't you? And you think, oh, that could go on a that cushion. That could go on a cushion. <laughs> <laughs> and if someone has a particular interest, the fabric can. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah be true. for that, can't it? So I've gone round the three sides. Out. I've put a little gem in the centre before I actually started there. So I'm going to put, I'm not putting the wadding inside the bag because if you're going to be washing it, you want to open out the bag because you don't want there to be a lot of oh, water. Oh, yes, I see what you mean because water will get caught in it. Yeah, right? if it's a bag. Oh, so, whatever you're going to use, you want to open it out so that there's no pocket. So, we're just going to put that in there and then. We'll fold over this one. At home, you can measure this if you like to make sure that it's in the centre. So, we'll just put this one round the outside. Oh, let's put the foot down. This fabric's beautiful, isn't it? It was a find, it really was. It was a real yeah. find. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you saw it and went, oh, I'm yeah. over that. That's brilliant. There we go, and we just treat that as a normal square now. Oh, so now it's the same size as all the others. Yeah. So we're going to put that one. So you assemble all your squares first. Yeah. With, well, the instructions are there, but just following what you want to put on yeah. them. And then you join them all together. And now I'm using a quarter inch seam. Okay. So it's all on a quarter inch seam. Just when you're going over the uh, zips, just slow down a little. They're, they're acrylic zips, so there's not an issue. You can sew over them okay. But, but you not just want to make sure, <laughs> yeah. Make, take it easy. That's so another marvellous invention. Half of the instruction, the stock of the instructions just on their own has gone as already. And go. the most popular kit is the Russian dolls. Really? Yes. Isn't that funny? There we go. Yeah. So Never know. I use this a lot, this uh, roll and press. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that each row, the seams are being pressed over. Actually, this one. I so if you want one through. of the roll and presses, it's basically it's a way of ironing without using a line. It is, press yeah, the it's open. brilliant. They're 15 nice iron, and they are, they, they look like they're not going to be very effective because it's they, just a little yeah. thing, but they really are. They really are. 
So I'm going to put two rows together and I've, I've pressed or rolled the seams in opposite directions so that I can nest the seams, which means that they're going to... So why do you put interfacing on the back of the squares? Is that to make the front more solid? Does it yeah, work because better? it's going to be pulled right, and, and okay. used. Yeah. Just to give it a little bit more support, A bit really. of structure. Yeah. So we've got the seams going in opposite directions, which makes it easier to nest those seams together. And that's a quarter inch seam again, putting the rows. As I said, I think probably if you've got uh, got children that are taking them in the car, you might want to miss out the crinkly. Yes, but oh, you could put the stuffing in because it'd be quite nice to have a, a soft <laughs> corner, wouldn't it? <laughs> A uh, message from Nurse Julie. Morning, Nurse Julie here. I use cereal enough for the crinkle in my fidget cushion. They are very good. Oh, yeah. So that... What was that, sorry? Cereal packet inners. Oh, yes. Because that's nice and crinkly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you, Nurse Julie. Can I just ask Kat? She's got a plaster. I've just pricked my oh, finger and I've got... Right, yes. Uh, Kat's just going to get a plaster. <laughs> Nurse Julie. <laughs> um, Alison's hurt herself. It's right. Cat's gone to get your plaster. <laughs> I just don't want to get it any more on the fabric. It's very annoying when that happens. Yeah. I've often got big pieces of masking tape around my finger because I can't yeah. to find a plaster <laughs> or washi tape or a bit of sellotape. Yeah. It's only a small thing, but... It, it's, it doesn't stop, does mm. it? Uh, right, we're that way. So now that one's going to go right side to right side. Oh, we've got Elliot on the case. Nurse only Elliot. Only needs a little tiny one. It's only a Yeah, a we don't need brick. a whole sling. <laughs> Bandage or crutch. We just uh, need... Actually, it might be stuff. Yeah, we it don't need, yeah, we don't need gauze. <laughs> just need a little plaster. <laughs> yeah, it, I, actually, it's dropping. <laughs> mm. Oh, look at this. Everyone's coming to the rescue. Do you want no, plaster? I think it's stopping now. Yeah. I oh, just we'll got have some the plaster in case. Yeah, I'll have that here. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. That's quite Elliot. big. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise I'd done it until I saw the stuff on the uh, on the fabric. We've got a message from Christine. Morning, lovely idea. I made a little fiddle cloth with buttons on for a friend's son who has autism. He keeps it in his pocket for school. Oh, how oh, nice. lovely! Just a little cloth with buttons on. Oh, that's kind, isn't it? Paul went out, chief by Paul, went out to get his first aid kit from his car. Oh, for you. I'm gonna... I think this is, this is brilliant, isn't it? I think I, it's, I think it's a really good, you start off with this and I can imagine people think, well, I'm going to make a leather one and I'm going to put this on it and, and everyone will ask as well. There we go. It will be the envy Smoothies of their the nursing They're home. They're going to go off. <laughs> They'll go off the end, won't they? So now we're just going to mm. assemble the um, the whole cushion. But the Velcro one there, that's just your piece of ribbon with the two pieces you put right side together. Okay. Like that. Sew round three sides, turn it through, and then that just goes on the oh, top Oh, so there. that's just like a fabric yeah. loop with the so ribbon. So before you, before you actually do the... Um, the sides, you put your piece of Velcro on. Oh, okay. So that it doesn't show through on the side there. And then that just gets caught in the top. In but in the seam. kit, you get all of this. You'll yeah. get the Velcro and you'll get all the bits of the ribbon and the zips and the buttons. But don't cut the long zip. No, you, you need the, That's what I would need do. The long and zip. then I'd get to the end and go, huh, where's yeah. that long zip <laughs> gone then? Oh, it looks <laughs> lovely on my cushion, cut <laughs> up in half. <laughs> yeah, my fingers stop now, so that's fine. Right, we're just going to cut off a piece at the bottom because we're going to insert our zip. So I'm going to cut off five inches. This is something that I've got at home. These are. I like the fact you've got a handle on it as well. Yeah, the thought is carrying them around, mm. obviously. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to put in the the zip. I've got a zipper put in here. I didn't look. No, so we'll take. Do you need a bobbin? 
I'll take that one off. No, I didn't do the zipper foot, but that doesn't matter. I can do it with the this one here. It's okay. You're right. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> we can get you a zipper foot. I did do some prep. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. But then, we did, but then you did come in and do a little special little demo for us. Oh, I did, didn't, didn't I? You? Yes, thank you. On that's the lovely really, bobbin winder really that's now sold excuse. out. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Paul, "We need some more of those." Cat's looking for uh, um, zip foots. Don't worry. Don't worry. Alison is winging I'll, it. I'll wing it, Cat. Don't worry. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> She's just winging it with something yeah. else. So I've got my zip right side down to the okay to the fabric, the, the and all the measurements are in the instructions about yeah, how about big where the two pieces, yes, yeah. which because is really useful. I've put the the actual zip for the cushion inside the pocket, so yes. it is a little different to assembling a normal cushion, and. We did that because this lady that the original <laughs> one was done for, that's why they wanted one with the zip on the outside, because she kept undoing the zip. Yeah, so if you put the zip on the bottom seam, yeah. they, keep, they might keep undoing them, yeah. and then they'd have the cushions out of the... So it's sort of hidden in a way, isn't it? So if you look, I'll show you on here, it's, it's actually inside yeah. the pocket. Now, normally I, w I would top stitch that, but I'm not going to do that because of time. And I'll show you on mine, look, it's kind of hidden inside the pocket. Which is quite useful, I bet that the slab, but then that's quite nice, that's like a secret zip to undo, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I've, um, I've put the fabric now down onto the top of the zip, but as I say, normally you would top stitch that to keep the, uh, the fabric back while the zip's being used, but I, because of time I don't want to, I'd rather show you more of the assembly. So that's the zip in place. So you've got your, your full piece of fabric again, basically, with the zip in the middle. Or down to, down to one end, it is not in the middle. So that's there. Then you're yeah, going okay. to put. You've got your pocket. So you just coloured that one, and that looks really yes, effective. I did. So it? that's your pocket. So you've got your piece that you cut out for your pocket, and you just fold that in half. Right. And then that's laid down on top. Yeah. Of your zip. Then we're going to take the. I would normally. Um, sew that round, but first of all, I'm just going to do this so I can show you the handle and I'll pin that for time. That's fine, we've got time. I've got to go on to the yeah. quilt though, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes on this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking at that clock. Um, I was looking at that yesterday, it was a long time. What, this one here? Mm, slightly. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, I was sort of finishing off and they said, oh, you kept talking after we'd come off air. I was, well, well, not by that clock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever got as far as the menu of what was happening today. Right, I've got my quarter inch foot back on. I know people do manage without a quarter inch foot and I try not to do things at home that I'm then going to come in and need to fit together because each one is different. <coughs> but they are so handy. I think it's just what you get used to, isn't it? Some people can go by the side of the foot where it sits on the fabric. Yes. Oh, of course, I was going to say, so the handle's sewn on afterwards because it's sewn across that seam. Yeah. Got it. I mean, you could, if you wanted to sew it into the seam now, instead of doing it oh, afterwards. I think it looks, I think it but looks I think really it's neat. nice over the top. It actually yeah. looks neat like that. And it's more comfortable to carry that way. Yeah. Uh, we've got another question. Question from Gillian. Hi ladies, great demo. I may have missed it, but what size cushion pad will you need? Oh, I don't, I don't 16 inches. 16 inches? Yeah. 16 inches. And a message from Collector in Staffordshire. 
Morningstone Street, these cushions are a brilliant idea. My mum had a fidget blanket when she had dementia. Sadly, she's passed away now. Great in care home. Oh, thank you. That's oh, a lovely you. message. Really yeah. nice. Um, well, it's really encouraging to see that it does make quite a difference to people and how many of you have made them, you know, for your relatives, whether they're children, you know, with, with learning difficulties or autism or whatever, or adults with dementia. And I think you say on the book, um, for people who've suffered a on the instructions as well, people who've suffered a stroke as yeah. well. Yeah. So anybody that, you know, wants something quite tactile and mm. something to do. I'm just um, going down either side of the handle. It's a, a piece of fabric that's been halved and then made like bias, basically, mm. and then halved again. And that's all in the panel. So that's all, all in the panel, yeah. Everything's there. And you would... Uh, you would measure this and make sure it's in the centre. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I think it makes it a really nice, fi a ne nice, neat finish doing it like this, where it goes on top of the seam yeah. as well, doesn't it? So we're going to put that on. I mean, if um, if you want to show the top of that one, I did do it in a grey so that it would yeah. show up. I'm just going Can to do a, a single line one, here. Emma? You can see what I did. I did a square and then crossed it across the centre <laughs> to hold it well. in place nicely. Yeah, so if you have a look here, you can see um, that Alison has top stitched it in grey, but also on this to make it extra strong, because they might put loads of stuff in that pocket, um, she's done a rectangle with a square in this in other side. So you've got the so you can carry it like that, but the actual handle sits across the seam, which makes it quite neat. But it does mean as well you could hang it up. Yeah. If you wanted to keep it, you know, out of the way. Stop other people pinching it. I love these fidget key rings. So that one I just put a single yeah, thing across. Yeah, I might keep this on my desk see. actually. It's quite nice, isn't it? So there we are. That's the handle on. Right. Now the pocket is going to go directly over the top of the zip there. What we want to do is we want to open <laughs> the zip a bit else we're not going to be able to fold it through. I'll just put that there so that the zip stays in place. And that's basically your cushion made. Yeah. You're just going to go round the four outside edges and put that there. And this one's coming out over the top. Now, depending on how your quarter inch seams are, <laughs> yeah. is whether you've got any extra here. Okay, so depending on so how you can be trim perfect, it, there's the no accurate, but if problem. Not, it doesn't matter if you trim it. Yeah, no problem at all with trimming it. I'll take that one there. And then that one. Another thing you have to be really careful of, it's not too bad with this one here, but if you've got the beads like I have in the outside edge, you've got to make sure... Oh, make sure your beads are that your strung beads are to away. the inside. Yes. <laughs> your that needle is not going to the like outside them. Edge, no. It's one thing going through zip teeth, another through <laughs> a whole bead. But these beads are in the kits as well, and the cord. So they're exactly the right size, which is great, isn't it? Because when you need them, you want the cord to go through. I mean, I know lots of you will have all these bits and pieces in your stash, but there's one bit you're going to be missing. And you've even got the, the um, plastic curtain ring and so this well, red I'll, braid I'll, as well. I'll, um, I'll put a couple of pins there so that if the beads do move, they're not going to oh, come okay. over, over to the edge. And then because I'm using a quarter inch foot, I'll trim this away. This is a lovely um, present for somebody well, isn't it though? Lovely, if you know you... It is, well, it, it's thoughtful as well, isn't it? Mm. It's, it proves that you've, I, I love homemade gifts because, you know, to think that somebody's actually thought. Well, thought enough to make it as well, isn't yeah. it? And, um, but also it's a gift you could give to somebody who could then give it to their relative. Yeah. yeah. And I will, not with those scissors, I'll trim off the... I always get overexcited about how many presents I'm going to make, though. 
and they realise oh, I've totally overextended myself. You get very myself. adventurous, don't you? Oh, you think, oh it's yes. It's the week before Christmas. Yes. And oh, I could do that. <laughs> I remember one year ago, and I'm going to make all the table present gift yeah. bags, yeah. like mini lunch bags. Yeah. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous idea. Right. Now, but you have, well, I suppose you have prepared all the squares in advance, but the actual putting together the cushion doesn't yeah. take too long. There we go, I'm going over the zip, so I slow down. It's a nice make as well, you know, it's not as if it's something that's going to take you a long, long time. No, it's not. Make 64 flying geese, yeah. is it? Oh, I've already done. There we go. <laughs> well, well, I quite like it's that, that you can spend time on each square. So you can think, well, well I'll do that square. I'll have a think about that. Yeah. You know, so it's, and then it's a change, and then you move on to the next square. So the instructions on their own are now quite limited. The rush, right. Right, the Russian app doll and the alphabet, we've got less than 10 of those kits available now. And the turtle, less than 10. So if you want those, you really need to, if they're in your basket, please do check out with them because if someone else comes along and they think, well, I definitely want that, I'll put it in my basket, check out, it will come out of yours. So um, be careful if you do want these. Oh, and don't forget, yeah, everyone who shops today gets a free pattern. Somebody's already got, well, I had one of yours, Alison because they've been messaging us in to say what patterns they've got as their free pattern. Yeah, oh, lovely. <laughs> they were doing yeah, that yesterday, not yesterday. When Vic was, uh, Vic was on, they were having a free panel, weren't they? Okay. And they were um, messaging in to say what panels yeah. they No, got. we've had quite a few people there. Some of them had <laughs> Emma Bradford ones. One of them had one of... Oh, someone's just had a Victoria Carrington. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to trim off the corners because this cushion's going to be pulled about right I'm not strength gonna, is everything so, yeah I don't think you really need to worry too much about the corners no well you get a nice rounded corner yeah A um, message from Lynn. Hi, ladies. I've just ordered one of these for my grandson who has autism. Such a lovely idea. Also, what size cushion do I need to put inside, Lynn? It's a 16-inch yeah. cushion. And it is a lovely idea. And, you know, make it to suit the person that you're giving it to. So do think about beads and buttons and colours and what sort of things that they like. Take those off. Take those off. Just a 16-inch cushion pad. Yeah, Which is quite, those. they're very easy to get. You can just pick those up from supermarkets, yeah. don't you? So there we go, that's it turned round and you think, oh my God, she's put the pocket on the wrong place. Oh, yes. <laughs> but now you put in your... in your. Oh, see, I was thinking, gosh, I bet that's hard to get the cushion in. <laughs> oh, you put your cushion dim. in and then... <laughs> then do the pocket. You turn I was the thinking, pocket how do over. you get... That must be... I mean, you could do yeah. it, but... Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you put your cushion in and then turn your pocket to the back, which then hides... Hides the, the, the secret zip. zip. So there's your pocket and side. And a little book pocket or colouring pencil or whatever, or photos, like you say. And then you put that's your... brilliant. I love that. And it's lovely fabric as well. And then that's your pocket for you. And then you can put your little fidget little thing fidget. in. Little fidget. I mean, you don't have to put that pocket. You could add another activity there and just have, have your uh, fidget dangling. I got those because someone, when I was doing it last time, someone messaged in and said, could you put bubble wrap in? And you could, but once bubble wrap's... Pop, that's it. Oh isn't yes, it? it's gone. And then, I isn't thought, it? well, you could put a pocket and put in some bubble yes, wrap. That's yes. But um, this is. It's very generous. You've every, been very generous every with these kits. <laughs> everlasting bubble wrap. This it one. is, isn't it? And which is the great thing, and isn't it's it? Quite yeah. Addictive. Because bubble wrap, I know it is lovely. <laughs> you get massive. I've seen them just this oh, year. Oh yes, though. they have whole sheets big, of them, don't ones, they? Different they? dinosaur shapes yeah. and all sorts. Yeah. I think yeah. they're lovely, just for everybody. Yeah, so, so to play yeah, with them. Yeah, because bubble wrap, once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you could have a pocket and have it in, but then, yeah. you know, you'd have to but keep these filling are lovely. it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right, that's fine. I'm just going to have a quick recap of our okay, kits. Okay, and, and we'll I'll move get on out the quilt. And we'll move on to the quilt. So if you want the cushion instructions on their own, we are very, very limited on them. They are 9 .99, um 
they have the um, there are only nine of them left. You do get the key ring with them and the instructions, but no fabric at all. Um, you won't necessarily get that key ring. You might get one like that. You might get one. They are chosen at random because it just depends which ones Alison can get, but it will be a key ring. Um, so the most popular kit, we'll do that one first, is Russian dolls. Um, obviously, in every kit, you get the instructions the key ring, all the beads and buttons and buckles and zip, and then you get all the um, bits of elastic and braids and everything. And then it's fantastic. And you get the piece of net. And in this one, you get the Russian dolls fabric, which is like a limey apple green background with these beautiful Russian dolls on it. And everything comes in this packaged in a box as well. So we, ca we can't sell the fabric on its own. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm going through the kits. Um, so this is all. This all comes packaged in a box. So you know, this is something that you could give to somebody who you know would like to make it as well, because it's very giftable. When you think the instructions are nine ninety nine on there on their own to get the full kit for twenty one ninety nine, it's just amazing value for money. Uh, the next one is the. Um, the turtles, the navy turtles, again, you get the instructions, the net, all the buttons and beads, the zips, the fidget keyring, but the fabric that you get in this one is navy turtles. Single figures for this one. It's gorgeous, that one, isn't it? Um, the next one is the alphabets. Again, I'm not going to go through the, you get all the bits. All the bits, they're all, they've all got the same bits in, it's just the fabric. So this one has got a black background and then it has all these lovely, really fun alphabet letters all with different spots and stripes and stars all over it. You get half a metre of the fabric and it's 150 centimetre wide, so it's a good amount of fabric, everything you need. Um, the, the one that Alison was working with, which has this matte panel, this one is amazing value for money. So you get all the bits and pieces, the buckles and the beads and the zips and the net and everything. But then you get this panel so you can make more than one cushion. Now, um, Alison used fabric pens and she coloured some of the knitting print in. I'll hold it up so you can see it. Ooh. All of that, all of the fabric on that panel. And you know what that's going to be worth. Look at it. It's massive. So there's loads and loads of different bits and pieces for that. Um, that's gorgeous and I think this one is kind of a multi-use adults or children depends on if you particularly quite nice that you coloured it and it's got labels as well so you could even put someone's name on it and then finally we just put that one back in neatly could only just get it in and then the final one is um the one that I had on that I've got on the desk that I've been playing with all morning and will be continuing to. Um, I love it, I might make one for myself. The, um, the, the turquoisey, sort of a pale turquoisey with a spot on it, that's the fabric you get in those. And that's the one that's in this cushion here. And all the bits and everything you need, key ring, instructions, ribbons, zips, buckles, beads, braids. That's not very neat, is it? And the net, I like the fact you get the net to put the beads underneath. Right. Yes, Alison is back. So, <laughs> Alison has also, we've got about five minutes, I can't get that yeah. back together. Um, Alison's designed this beautiful quilt that's behind me called Reach for the Stars. Shall I move out of the way? There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Now, we did have some kits for them, but they sold out before we even came on air. But if you want the instructions only, $9.99, all the instructions, you obviously can make it in whatever colourway you want. Should we have a look at the colourways that you've got? Yes, this um, is the one. But then you've got another one. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, this is the ones that was kitted, the, the black ones. But yes. my original one, it's very much a beginner's quilt because if you're adventuring from your squares and you want to go into triangles... I'll show you in a second how easy it is because you've got the support of a big square. You're not actually sewing two bias right, edges okay. together. So, so if you get the instructions only, you can obviously choose whatever fabrics you want for it. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love that one. This is the first one I did and I love it. It's, 
it's quite floral for a, mm. a star sign yeah. but I think it works. No, it does work. Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah. I think and all I did, lovely. I mean, I hadn't done an awful lot. You, I'll explain to you in a minute. I mean, I've got a plain board around here, but I didn't know at the time, I was quite new to quilting, what I could do with the scraps that I cut oh, off, really? okay. which is the actual border oh, around the outside yes. edge. So yes. that's utilising the stuff that Brilliant. for this one I will have thrown away. Ax yeah, so but now you know what you could use them for the yeah. border. That's really pretty. So this one's really straightforward because there's no thinking about it <coughs> because all the colours are the same and all the stars are the same. Whereas the one that's hanging on the wall, that's actually got a couple of centre blocks filled in. In the instructions, you've got a colouring colouring in page that uh, you can plan everything out. So obviously my centre six have got a plain, um, a pattern oh, block I in the centre. see, yes, yes. So that's how you get the filled in star, rather than using mm. two of the half triangles, this is a full square. Oh, okay. So that you've got that in your instructions. There's a, a full um, demo on the 22nd of, 27th of April but that's in your instructions. It's on there to right, say where to Right, it says that look. anyway. So if you want yeah. to see um, Alison making this, then you can, when you get the instructions, it gives you the date and you can see the instructions for doing it. Yeah. There's two layouts for when you're putting your top together. I've done one by number because a friend of mine prefers doing it by number. Okay. So I've numbered them here and then you've got, it looks like a Sudoku, doesn't it? Yes, it does it's actually. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, yeah. two, one, two, three, 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 three. I yeah. prefer going from a diagram, but... Um, Basically, this is nice your cutout. Nice options, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is your cutout. You, there's only three squares, and one of them is totally plain. Okay. One has so got there's only two pieced squares yeah. in the whole thing. Yeah, and one has got one corner filled in, and all the rest of uh, the other ones have got uh, the two corners. And they're really, really simple to do. And because it's a stretched star, if you look at this one, which is a brilliant scrap buster as well, this is one we, we did with Fat Quarters. If you want to do your stars differently like this, there's a photograph of this one on the instructions on the front there. You need five Fat Quarters. Oh, okay. And you, get all, you can do all of this with your the five Fat Quarters. Quilt. And, and, well, the whole quilt? And what's backing. the size backing. of the quilt? One and a half, quilt? One and a half backing. Well, it, you get... The instructions are for really ending at the squares. But this is all in the instructions how to add the bits right, that you okay. cut off. So that would take five fat quarters to get this. Wow. That so is amazing. And what's the finished size of the quilt? Um, it does say does it say? Does it? Oh, there we go. 35 by 42. 42. Oh, oh, so, nice so that's the front yeah. um, panel, really, without the diamonds going yes. around so the outside So it's a good sort of lap triangles. quilt, cock yeah. quilt side, yeah. isn't it? So... Basically, this is all you need. A plain square. One with a one triangle. And the others are all two triangles. Okay. And to get those, mm. you're going to <laughs> draw. There are one big square and two little squares. Yeah, so you're going to draw from corner to corner. I wouldn't miss this bit out. Because if you want to do the next piece, so you go from corner to corner, I've used a friction pen, but you're, it's your sewing line, so it, on this black it won't really matter if you do it in pencil or something like that. And then half an inch away, draw another line. This is using up your scraps, this bit. Just draw another line there, and then you're going to sew those two lines on your sewing machine, which I've done here. You've got one sewn there and one sewn there. Okay. Then in that channel in the centre, that's where I said it's a nice introduction to working on bias because you've got this full square underneath. It, it nicely supports that Yeah, line. so you haven't got it stretchy. Yeah, I mean, shape, it is still stretchy. Nice. You want to be careful putting it through the machine. You don't actually want to pull it so that it stretches. But then you're going to cut along that channel I've done it on this one as well, which gives you your two corners on that right. there, but it also your and scraps, usable. 
Offcuts. Are your usable offcuts? Which is brilliant, isn't it? Because quite often you do things like that and you just have to throw them out. Yeah. Or put them uh, in or your put scrap them in, bin. I was going to say, put them in scrap bin, yeah. never to be seen again. Never, I mean, yes, because you are going to use them one day. Scrap bin goes like that, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, what I've done with... Um, I've got some that are pressed here. And all I've done to get the uh, triangles around the outside mm. edge, obviously you take the dog ears off, and then you just sew two of those oh, okay. together... And that gives you. And it's your so nice, isn't it? Because that really finishes it off. Yeah, I think so. And also, if you want to make the quilt bigger, you'll have more and more of those. Yes. So you'll have enough to make yeah. it, the border even bigger. Yeah. Um, with this one, you can see I've done them in different ways. I've got one point coming that way and one point going that way. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't that's know whether true. I see what I, you mean. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see that. Shall I bring it over? Is that easier? There we go. That's it. So I've got one pointing oh, that right, way yes. and one pointing that way. So that gives a different look again. Yeah, with that one, you've got Whereas more that pointing that one, they're outwards. all pointing out. But also, if you do it like that, I did put a little two-inch square in between them all. But if you wanted to do it like, like that, it would be like a candy cane effect as yes, it's going around. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's clever, isn't so, it? So, yeah, that's just using up the scraps. But then when you're assembling it, I'll show you on this one. It tells you how many of each of the squares to use. But all, apart from the top and the bottom, are repeats. You've got, you've got um, the top and the bottom are a plane with just one corner a plane with one corner all the way along. But then you've got these two rows, B and C, are just repeated all the way down. You don't even have to think about it because you can see here you've got B, C, B, C, all the way down. So row B is you've got at the beginning and the end just one triangle in the corner, but all the others are just the doubles. So you don't mm. even have to think about that. I know, it's funny, isn't it? When you deconstruct it like that, you can see then. Yeah. You can see where they are. Yeah, well, that's it's brilliant. It's so thing. easy. It really Thank is. Thank you so much, Alison. I absolutely yeah. love it in that colourway. Yeah. I mean, it gets a little more difficult if you're doing something like this one where you're changing the colour, because obviously you've then... That's why I've put the colouring layout You've then got to plan. think about the colours. You've then got to think about where you're positioning things in your rows as you put them together. But if you start off with one of these... You'll get hooked, and it's like yeah, so it's really good. Lens. Well, like you say, it's a beginner or an adventurous yeah. beginner. Yeah. Uh, we've got a message from Collector in Merseyside, loving the show. Another fab design from Alison. Absolutely oh, right, it you. is a beautiful <laughs> design. I've got a Delphine Felton pattern with my order. Delighted. Oh, I would oh, be lovely. as well. That's lovely. Yeah. This it's a gorgeous design because, like you say, when it looks really complex, yeah, it looks like how have you managed to get those? You know, it looks like you've got angles and funny yeah, shapes. Yeah, because uh, row C here, look, is the two and then a plain block. Two and a but plain it really block, and that's it. The two rows make up the whole pattern. You sort of deconstructed it. No, for us. no matching up your. The only matching is when you assemble your rows and your um, when you're putting the rows yes. together. Because this here, they're all overlapping. Yeah. Perfect. And I love it. Give, well, thank you. I'm effect. sorry that the kits have sold out. <laughs> You've obviously loved them. Um, but we still do have the instructions on them. They're only 9 99 And obviously, you can then use that. If you want to make a bigger quilt, you can use this concept and just make it bigger. But yeah. to make this sort of laptop, top, laptop, lap quilt size, you need about five fat quarters. But you can change that. Um, thank you so much, Alison. So you're okay. back with us in an hour. Yes. To do that amazing this quilt behind thing, yes. you. Gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Beautiful. It is on pre-order if you want to get hold of it. I mean, it is gorgeous isn't it mm. well when it came i thought oh thank you ian we've got curves in there yeah <laughs> but it's really easy brilliant <laughs> well and we're looking forward to you showing us how to another difficult quilt look easy yeah um so we will see you back here in just a couple of minutes when we have got bundles all things bundly bundles Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. Oh, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets. Um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make. I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre. I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. And welcome back to Sewing Street. So this hour is all about the bundle. All about the bundle. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. I just wait, it's all about the bundle. I hear Kat going, I don't like the jam in this donut. What's wrong with the jam in the donut? It's a bit claggy. That's a great name. The, it's a claggy jam donut. I wish I had a claggy jam donut. But this hour is all about bundles. We've got bundles of fabric and other items as well, and books and foundation paper. Let's start with a bundle of two books, both of them written by the wonderful Wendy Gardner. So, should we have a look? This we've got Fat Quarter Gifts. So, in the book, there's Wendy. Yay. Hi, Wendy. Look at it, she's had her hair done. She looks really posh there. Um, all the different techniques that you'll need in it, really, really very good. I mean, obviously, you all know what a fantastic sewer and designer Wendy is. So everything is explained very, very, very clearly in here. Even how to do things like half square triangles and pinwheels. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, a play key, decorative stitches. I mean, so much. There is so much. There's like, this is all the technical information, so much. You know, I think it's really nice when you go into detail, even in a project book, on things like this, adding piping and bias binding, how to cut fabric on the bias. You know, it's the sort of thing where you just read instructions normally. It goes, pipe your quilt or add the zip. But she goes into detail. So just for the fact that you get the technical detail, I think is really good. And then we move on to the projects. So this one is all about the home. We've got a two-tone tote bag and a cosmetic pouch. So all of these, the whole point of these books is you use, each project uses two fat quarters. They might use other items as well. I like the makeup kit roll with the elastic across the front. That's really clever. You could use that for crochet hooks as well. That's nice. Um, oh, gone ahead. Super summer shorts. They're pretty, aren't they? When you think of all the fat quarters that you have and that you could make out of two, just a little pair, This, these will fit, um, a child aged two to three. That's so sweet, isn't it? Scissor keeper. I love that. I love that. You think of all these things, you can read all that fabric that we had in the first hour, the meter. You can make loads of all of these. Actually, this is kind of your, um, your gift book, isn't it? You could use this, save all the things when you want to make a present for someone. That's quite nice, isn't it? A tablet sleeve. Really pretty. You know, you can buy all these tablet sleeves and they're always a bit boring, aren't they? Or a bit plasticky. Very nice. Why not have a quilted one? Um, retro purse. Oh, and this is quite useful. She's put little tips and information in, like this resizing. So how to change the size up of your purse, which is really useful. I'm still going as well. The flying geese lunch bag. Now, this is quite good because you get to make a nice design when it's finished but a really good way if you haven't done flying geese before of learning and then you can use that on something bigger so then when you've got to make 48 flying geese for a quilt that you're going to make you'll know exactly how to do it but it's it's nice to showcase sometimes your, your little patchwork skills on smaller projects i think it looks really nice a little trapeze dress that's pretty isn't it it's got little pockets oh i like these christmas crackers that's like using every bit of ribbon and bow you've got. So what do you need for those? I bet toilet rolls. Well, it says kitchen roll tubes are perfect. Four cardboard tubes. I was collecting toilet rolls for my daughter because she's just started teaching. And then she said to me she couldn't take them into the school because of um, the amount of bacteria on them. But... I know, that's weird, isn't it? So what I did, actually, I found out, if you put them in the freezer kills it all. You have to put them in a plastic bag in the freezer or they get wet, but I put them all in the freezer. So if you're making crackers using toilet rolls and you're concerned about bacteria, put your toilet roll tubes in the freezer in a plastic bag and it will kill it all. Um, nice little pencil case. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? And I really like that, that it uses the two fat quarters, but you know what you could do with this is that you use 
and I'm still still on the same book. You could use maybe some clothes or a dress or something from a child, you know, when maybe something they had when they were younger, and you could do it like a memory bear. I always think that's really nice because that's a really simple pattern. Now, in the book, there's only 15 of these bundles left. If you want them, you need to get them. Uh, now, in the um, in the book as well are pattern sheets. So all those that I was showing you think, how am I going to do that? Like the teddy bear. I've seen a lot of people who've made memory bears from um, lots of different people's clothes. It's a really nice thing to make because this is so sweet, quite simple. But the pattern is in here. So um, the two books together, we've only been through one, are 16 98 So you're saving £3. I mean, well, that's your P&P, isn't it? You get a free panel. There's 16 projects in, in the gift section and 16 projects in the home. So for 32 projects for £16.98 and you get the pattern sheets. I mean, when you think often the instructions are 9 53 pence a project again you've got all of the techniques and the um all the materials and techniques everything you need that we've been through in the other book um and then we'll get to the project shall we you know if you maybe why don't you get one and gift one because that's really oh these these are nice so the rrp for the book is 9.99 and we're we will only be paying 8.49 We've got cafeteria cosy, placemat. This is lovely. I mean, I know this, it's home, but you could give these as gifts. I just think these are sort of, you know, well, as Alice and I were talking about how you get overexcited and over ambitious about the gifts you're going to make. Get the books and start now for next year because there's so many lovely things. Hey, wouldn't that be great with that fabric that we had, you know, the retro fabric we had in the first at eight o'clock with all the... Um, there's like food mixes and televisions on. Or nice with that bee fabric in the last hour. Hanging hoop organiser, love the little pin cushion. Flower power cushion pillow, I like the little piecing down there is really nice, isn't it? Um, this is a lovely thing. Have you ever done this where you, you take like clothes like, well, I bought um, sashing cord, it's, you buy it from the hardware store that you use for um, sash windows and then you wrap the fabric round and then you sew it and you can make floor mats and you can make bowls. That's gorgeous. I like the tech pillow. It looks like a dinosaur. That's nice. There's so many ideas, even a little pair of summer slippers. Perfect. Put, pop them in your suitcase if you're going on holiday. Or if you've got someone coming to stay, you can make them a little pair of slippers. They would look very impressive. Especially if you've got a new carpet. Say, look, I've made your slippers. You can take your shoes off. But they'd be really good for, um, well, for a gift or for yourself to put, put, you know, put in your suitcase if you're going away. Um, I do like the craft basket liner because it's got the pockets. So you obviously put that into um, a basket. It tells you how to measure your own basket to make the liner for it. But I like the pockets in there as well. So they were, Wendy's just used a basket and then it's nice that this, the instructions have been written so you can make it to fit. Nice knitting bag. Oh, it's got one with the, um, the barrel ends on it for your needles. A cable tidy roll. Mm, I probably need one of those. My cables are all over the place. I sort of pick, open a drawer and pick out this big spaghettiness of them. Gardener's apron. That'd be nice for the bee fabric. Two bottle bag. Always need two bottles. That one should, well, it's funny, isn't it? Gift on home. So look, there's a, a separate down the middle. Gin and tonic. Mm. Notebook cover. Um, and the final, twisted tuck pillow. Again, a lot of these projects you're um, learning new skills with as well. So you can practice your twisted tucks. Then when you come to doing it down the front of a new blouse, You've worked it out. So that's fantastic, isn't it? $16.98. You're saving £3. We don't often do savings on books, not like this. But because it's our bundle show, well, we just did it. Well, we did. Cat did it, actually. Um, yes, and I do need to apologise about the tape measures because I was quite excited earlier on to tell you that the tape measures were back and then they sold out. Really sorry about that. Because they are lovely. But they have sold out, unfortunately. Felt, felt bundle. You are, wow. So you're getting two rolls. 
So there's 40 pieces of felt in total there for the price of one roll. So £19.49 each normally, but today you get both. So in there you get, should we have a little look? Ooh, tied up in ribbon that's very difficult to undo. I'm not quite sure we're going to... Yeah, who did that? Who did that? I'm never going to undo I'm not going to undo that one. I'll undo this one instead. So there's two rolls and I will show you one roll because I can't open that with it. I don't really want to cut it. Um, so each piece is, I think, no, I was going to measure it. I was going to go eight, nine by nine inch. And the colours may vary, obviously, but you've got a real rainbow range there, haven't you? So here you've got pink, mauve, blue, yellow, blue. Whoa, look at that green. Green, light blue, dark blue, orange, pink, purple. I mean, you've got a whole rainbow range. So you have got, what, in total, 40, 40 nine-inch squares of felt. Now, we normally sell one of these for 1949. So if you're doing any felt craft projects at home or at school or if you make things for craft fairs, there you go, there it is on the web normally, 20 pieces of 1949, but no, we're giving you two. So um, any sort of projects you're doing or if you're doing some sewing with children or you use it for a plique, it's a really good way to add to your stash to have two large bundles because it's really useful, particularly for... Um, Begin as applique if you're learning to applique, but you think of all the beautiful felt applique you can do, and to have all of these colours, because buying each of the squares individual, having them, you you never get all of them like that. There we look. I don't know what I'm surprised with, because that's like 50% off. When I suggested we did a 50% off day, they said no. That was a silly idea. So two. Could you please get them quickly before Cat gets fun now? <laughs> a little bit too late. No. 1949 for 40, 49 squares. But remain, make sure using make sure you use the code there, the GS6624. Don't buy them off the website because we're selling them separately there. In order to get your two free, you need to use the GS6624 that's on the screen at the moment. Lovely. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that one's going to last for. No, not really. Okay. Right, let me just put that one away. Buttons. Oh, I've got loads of them. Now, I love wooden buttons. Obviously, these are not buttons that you use for closing your cardi with. These are decorative buttons. Wow, in total, you're getting 71 buttons. Now, all of the buttons are wooden. They've all got two holes, so you can sew them onto things. But they're not buttons that you would use. They are decorative buttons. They look lovely as embellishments. Maybe you've, um, if you've done something like, oh, they, people use them for paper craft, but if you've um, made like a little flap and you've used a press stud and you want to put a button on top of it, it looks really nice on that. Really good for card making. You can just get a piece of card, fold it in half. You can sew some of these buttons on. So in the pack, we have got, that one's got dummies and bottles. Oh, there's a picture of all of them. £10.49 for the whole lot. Stars and moons. Um, we've got milk bottles, cats. Um, oh, that one's a teacher's that's got pencils and pens. Hearts. What is that one? Vegetables. Bunnies. Stars and moons. Um, oh, that must be transport. We've got scooters. Scooters. Teddy bears. Cow and milk bottles. Butterflies. And that one must be summer because there's an ice cream in it. All of those wooden buttons, all for £10.49. pence. That's an amazing saving. And if you want to use them, you know, to embellish things, either whether it's card making or for sewing or to just um, put as an as an attachment on something, quite nice. Colour them in. Nice as a little gift to somebody. Keep them. Keep them in your stash. It's the sort of thing you think, oh, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do that. All of them. All of them for £10.49. And don't forget, because it is the 6th of January, if you've only just joined us, everyone who shops today gets a free pattern. Now, loads of you have been messaging in this morning to say what pattern you've got. We've had some people who've got um, Delphine's patterns, Alison Marion's patterns, um, 
Emma Bradford's patterns. Now, a lot of these patterns are we sell at 9.99. And we can't, it is random. You don't know which one that you're going to get. But when you put your order in, it will tell you which one you're going to get. Because a lot of people have been messaging us to tell us, which is fab. So anyone who shops today on the website, or if they shop on the items that we've got here, or on Yarn Lane between now and midnight, will receive a free pattern. Now, if you shop any time between now and the 12th of December, you need to shop six times in the first 12 days, you also get also free P&P &P for the whole of January. So if you shop six out the first 12 days of December, you get free P&P &P for the whole of January. And also remember that we have a special offer or gift or saving or something every day for the first 12 days of December. I don't know what, what tomorrow, yesterday was 5% off. I know that because I was here. And today's a free pattern. And we have had, a, we've done a free panel, but tomorrow, surprise, don't know what tomorrow is. But it's a free gift to celebrate. It's Christmas. Which one should we do next, Kat? Oh, this is nice. So these are one metre bundles, as in two half metres of fabric, but it's one metre piece. Just cut one metre, 5 99 Got a little saving on there. 5 99 for a metre of red cotton fabric. So this is our normal rose and hobble quality, beautiful quilting weight cotton. You can buy a whole metre for 5 99 What's the normal price on that? So it's normally um, £7, £6.99. Pound off. A whole metre of red, lovely, lovely pillar box red as well. Five ninety nine for a metre. It's cut as one piece. And there's only three left. Um, if you buy multiples of these, this isn't our fabric that we will cut for you to order. This is a one metre piece. If you buy multiples, you will receive them as one metre pieces. So that's that one. We've also got it in ivory. There's only one of those left. Meter, I know, a meter, 5.99 of ivory fabric. There is only one left. Congratulations to whoever gets that. Remember, this is Rose and Hubble, 44 inch quilting weight, beautiful quality cotton with a little saving and why not for our bundly bundles show. 5.99, another one. This is um, Sapphire. That's beautiful, that one, isn't it? Sapphire, a whole metre of sapphire fabric. 5.99, it's just coming. <laughs> it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Like, um, it's like the blue that you get on one of those beautiful blue butterflies, those really iridescent ones that you see. It's gorgeous, isn't it? There's only five of these left, obviously, because at the beginning I went through at eight o'clock what we had coming up today. So this has all been on pre-order. I mean, it's, you know, a pound saving. That's fantastic, isn't it? Every little helps. Meter. And then the final meter panel is amethyst. Nice. There we go. Whole meter of amethyst fabric. Um, this is cut as a cut piece. It will be a whole one metre piece. So if you order multiples of this, you won't get them as one continuous piece. They will be individual one metre pieces. But that is, um, oh, that one's 6.49. No, <laughs> shoot. That one's 6.49. Don't know why. Don't know why. Um, those are the one metre bundles. Um... Bonder web. I love bond. You can never have. It's one of those laws of science. Enough bonder web. I get through so much of it. It's ridiculous. Brilliant for all sorts. So in this in this bundle, we've got two. Now a lot of the patterns that we do, particularly if you've got a delphine free pattern, you'll be needing the bonder web. It's like if you've not seen it before, it is like double sided sticky tape, but for fabric. So you has paper on one side and interfacing on the other. You can draw on the paper, whatever shape you want. You then press that paper side up to your fabric. You can then cut around the shape, whether it's a letter or an image or um, a shape, 
peel off the paper and then stick it onto another piece of fabric. Often, I mean, you have to sew it on as well. A lot of people used to use this bonder web for, um, because it's fusible web is the proper name for it, bonder web's the trade name. They would use it for like hemming trousers, people who didn't sew and it was come undone eventually. But it is brilliant. I use it loads for personalising things. If you print out like someone's name, you have to trace it in reverse. And then you know, if you do something like, if you iron that onto some fleece fabric, that is brilliant for appliquing onto other things like jumpers and cushions. So these, this piece is 17 and a half centimetres wide, so just the width of this, but it's 1.2 metres long. So to get two of these, honestly, I get through so much more using Bonder Web for something. I often use it if I just want to hold something in place and I think it's not going to stay there before I stitch it as well. £5.98 for two packets of Bonder Web. Only eight of those left. I'm not surprised. You can never have too much Bonder Web. In fact, I started realising, I was using some yesterday, realised I was, the day before I might be getting to the end of it. Panic, need to order another roll. Fabric, should we do this one? Let's do the, this one. So look at that. Riley Blake, that's so autumny, isn't it? I mean, it looks like the way it's all arranged looks like autumn leaves. It's called Autumn Mega Bundle. There we go. Um, so you get half a metre free. 89 and 89.88. So you're saving £7.49. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 half metres for the price of 12. Should we have a look at the fabrics in it? Some of these might be on the website available by the half metre, but, we're, but if you want the saving with the bundle, then these are the ones that you get. These are just a half metre of each. Look, aren't they lovely? Look at the colours and the leaves in that one. And actually, I'm going to see if I can sort them because that one, same print, but with the cream, cream background. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, I'm going to have to work in reverse now because I got confused. This um, beautiful, I love the brown as well. It's like a milk chocolate brown. It's so autumn -y. I think, you know, for is it a six metres, six metres. Think, gosh, think of the quilts you could make this. What a beautiful quilt this would make. I mean, obviously, it's lovely to have in your stash, but remember, when you're buying fabric from a collection, you're buying a set of prints and colours that all go together. So any quilt kit that you use, they'll all go together. And isn't it it's lovely, isn't it, how the colours show up differently? So this is a really rich... It's not like yellowy, yellowy cream. It's more of a rich ivory. And then you've got the two um, leafy prints. Then, oh, look... We've got the same as the first one, but in that lovely olive green. So autumn, it's just warm, isn't it? It makes me think of, it's very um, New England, isn't it? The, the fall, it makes you think of sort of a really old fashioned, if you saw a quilt made from this, it would be really traditional. I love that one with all the little berries all over it. And with that one, that's a lovely, um, orangey red really warm rusty background then we've got the same fabric but in the cream background nice then we have oh and that is the same as well isn't it interesting how they show up really differently these look like tiny oranges and then on the sort of the brown background they look they're just in the olive green so look how all the colors in each of them are flowing through the pack then we have another leafy one this is real pumpkin colour, isn't it? Such a beautiful, strong colour pat. But this is Riley Blake. You know, it's designer fabric. It all goes together. They will have spent hours sorting this fabric. I've left my favourite one to last. You'll have to wait and see that one. Again, you've got that lovely pumpkin background with the um, twining leaves. What's lovely in this collection is that you've got, you know, your full large scale prints like this. Then you've got your mid scale prints. And then you've got your low volume fabrics like the, this one and this one that instead of having that plainness just give you, gives you a bit more balance. This would just like, if you were make, wanted to make a quilt for your bed, how lovely would this look? Or even a wall hanging just to warm up the room. If you have a look on the Riley Blake website, um, you get some inspiration. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Fruit, I love that. The jars look gorgeous don't they with the little things in that's really really charming isn't it 
That's I mean, if you that's where I often go for ideas. If I'm if I'm not sure what to do, go find the designer, have a look at the thing. That's nice, isn't it? So that is the um, those fabrics using the thing. Quite a lot of these fabric websites will have. Um, either free patterns using their fabric ranges or they will have links to websites where you can buy the patterns. Um, not loads either, but if you see a fabric range you think, I absolutely love them, I'm not sure what to do with it, have a quick look on their website because there's often loads of inspiration. And then you get half a meter, this one, I absolutely love this one. I thought it was a panel, I and mean, it's not. But it's gorgeous, look at that. I just want to quilt that one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But then, you know, you can use parts of that. So imagine if you were doing like something like um, a double wedding rig or a Dresden plate or something that was a circular design. You could even cut these out and applique those onto the top of the centerpiece of something. So um, like a Dresden plate grandmother's fan would look gorgeous with that in the centre of it, wouldn't it? Grandmother's fan, sorry Kat, I said that too quick. A Dresden plate or a grandmother's fan would look amazing. Well, you need to check that one out then Kat. But that's gorgeous, isn't it? So have a look. And all, I mean, the other place I look on loads is Pinterest. If you put in the name of the fabric range and put that into Pinterest, amazing what you can find. Or um, tags on Instagram. Oh yes, Kat's now liking grandmother's fan. It's nice, isn't it? It's not an FPP, it's a piecing, it's a piecing thing. It's a really lovely design though, isn't it? But all of those sort of designs look gorgeous in these traditional prints. If, when I'm looking at traditional prints like this, I always think of the really sort of traditional log cabin, Dresden plate, all of those. Um, all of that, you know, if you were doing log cabin, this is perfect because you've got an equal mixture of darks and lights, so it would work really well in that. And then if you're doing log cabin, you can change it into courthouse steps. That looks fab. And just have a look at all the different patterns that you can do with the log cabin, depending on how you arrange them. Uh, so, so much inspiration. And, and for free as well. Loads and loads of free inspiration out there. I go onto Instagram and under the tag section, oh, look, there we go. There's your there's a grandmother's fan <laughs> so you can use the you know because the, there is the quarter bit you can use the, the panels in there but if you go onto these the designers websites you will often find um instructions using these kind of things that these packs so it's worth getting your hands on a whole set of designer fabric because then you can use them later later on for something that you are totally inspired by so that's that gorgeous bundle This one, oh, this is lovely. This is a big bundle. How many have we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, I'm keeping it still going. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen half metres of sewing themed fabric. That's not bad, is it? How much is that then? Wow, hundred and ten pounds thirty-three. You will save six pounds and forty-nine pence buying this one. So should we have a quick look at the fabrics? Because there are loads of them. It's all sewing related. That one has got all sorts of old-fashioned sewing machines and bobbins. And then I bet it's in. I bet it's in another colourway as well. Yes, that one is on like a pale grey background. Um, and then we've got one with like a biscuit colour background. I love this pale grey one. It's the same print, but all the sewing machines are coloured in, in mauve and teal instead, whereas that one is plain. These fabrics go beautifully together. And then we get onto a bit of ironing. So on the website, we have got these fabrics available in smaller bundles with just a few of each of the half meters. But if you want a half meter of the whole collection with a saving as well, this is the place to get it. So we've got this lovely lavender splodgy um, irons. And then we've got biscuit background iron, but I love the background. Look, you can see this, it actually shows that quite well here. It's slightly splodgy. Then we've got this lovely pale gray irons right let's move on to safety pins these are fab i love the colors in this collection as well they're very vintage aren't they 
it's like um they're um really sort of vintage aren't they kind of faded they're like sort of fabrics that have been super bright and then so if you make yourself something from this it gives you that real vintage look everyone loves sewing theme fabric so you've got a movie color one and then you've got a white spotty safety pin and then we've got a gray spotty safety pin then we're moving oh hang on one more oh no that's safety pins and things then we're moving on to dress dummies this is keeping going isn't it so these are dress forms where we've got this is amazing well i'm still going we've got the mauves and the blue and the um fuchsia colors and blacks and whites and grays then it comes in completely monochrome so you can see now that this this one color palette is being used throughout the whole thing then we've got it in the sort of the pinks and biscuits um yeah, that's all of those. Then we've got, I love this one. This is like the tiny print. This one has got coat hangers, tape measures, seam rippers, scissors, safety pins, all on one print. And here it is in the biscuit background. That's lovely, isn't it? Remember, this is all quilting weight cotton, your normal 44 inch width. It's beautiful. You are getting 18 half meters of sewing themed fabric and it's lovely isn't it that you'd know you'd have more than enough if you want to do a really big project you would have more than enough here and um, then you've got the same print in the gray background and then the final is the um this is the final one thimbles so we've got thimbles with the mauves and the grays thimbles in the um background i mean you don't always have to make that then the last one sorry is the biscuit um you don't always have to think right well i've got to make one big project from that you know, this is something that you put in your stash. Lots and lots of you, I know, love what I do, love the sewing theme fabric. Really useful to have this in your stash to use for lots of different projects later on. I mean, brilliant. If you think, right, I'm going to reorganise my sewing room. I'm going to make myself some drawstring bags and some storage boxes and a cover for my um, machine because obviously it needs to be covered because it mustn't keep letting it get dusty. All of that kind of thing. You've got all of this fabric to play with. Now, remember, this is the way, place where you'd make your saving, £110. 33 pence but you will be able to save six pound 49 now this is available on split pay so if you want to spread the cost won't cost you anything extra in interest 55 pounds and 16 pence so it won't be any extra at all um we'll take the 55 pound 16 now send it to you straight away and then the second payment you'll pay in january and don't forget you might get a free pattern to make something with it gorgeous isn't it what a lovely set of fabrics Liberty bundles, which one is, oh, okay. So that's the, this one, I'm gonna have to move that to one side. Right, so we, we had some bundles on before of Liberty fabric, the blue one has already sold out. So I'll move that, well done if you got that one. This is beautiful. So this is two and a half meters. Oh, it's so soft. This is amazing. Do you, this is, isn't this the fabric that we sold putting kits the other day to do face masks with? And it sold just like that. Two colors we did. I didn't have 20% off, but we put it in um, some kits to make face masks and it sold out just like that because it is Liberty quality print. Yes. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I absolutely love it because it's so soft. So this one is a really lovely lilac background. Now you've got two and a half meters here. Again, if you're making face masks, brilliant. Who doesn't want a Liberty face mask? 29 pounds and 96 pence. You're saving 20% there on Liberty. Now this is, when you think of Liberty, you normally think of it as being, um, Liberty Lawn, this isn't. This is quilting weight cotton. This is your normal 44 inch weight quilting weight cotton, cotton, but it is Liberty print and it is beautifully soft. Lovely. So that one is 29.96. That's a very good price for two and a half meters. Two and a half meters is a dress, isn't it? Yesterday, the um, patterns that we did, the Nina Lee ones with Mark Francis, that they were using two and a half meters. So if you know you want to make yourself a Liberty dress, that is enough for your little tea dress. I know we don't normally do savings on Liberty fabric because, well, we don't need to because you love it. 
So I'm not sure how we've got away with that one this time. Right, I've also got it in one other colour, in rose. Oh, this is pretty. Really pretty. I mean, you can use it for your quilting and your homewares, but again, remember, because it's Liberty, color, Liberty print, it does work well for dressmaking as well. Those little blouses. Remember the blouse pattern we had yesterday? looked nice in that. You needed a metre as well. This will keep you going for quite a while. So again, you will be saving 20% on this one. 44 inch width, quilting weight cotton, but it is a Liberty print. It's not beautiful. Mm. 29 pounds and 96 pence. That is a fantastic saving on that one. Right. Right, let's do glue. Let's do glue next in the bundly bundle hour. Right, glue. So we have sold loads of glue pens recently and we were doing a deal with them. But you only need the one pen. What you do need are the glue sticks. I seem to get through lots of them because I use them a lot. I use them for um, EPP, but I also use them when I'm going to put a zip in, particularly if I'm putting it between the outer and the lining, and I stick it in and then I sew it easier and quicker than pins. If you're doing those post box opening zips, really perfect for them. I get through loads. So if you use something that you don't want to pin or is easier not to pin, this is great. Um, Alison's going to be using them the next hour to do the curves on the quilt, so she'll show you then. Now, the great thing about this glue is it's fabric glue. So you can glue something, like glue in a zip in, and then you can sew through it and it doesn't gum up your needle. I tried using Pritt stick once. That does gum up your needle. Don't use Pritt stick. I'd run out of these refills and I was doing some... And I was doing some EPP. I thought I'd use my Pritt stick because I've run out. And I um, couldn't get the paper off. Do not use that. So you only do need one of these, one of the um, pens, but you do need the refill. So we're giving you a little saving, two by two. So you get, oh, the saving's not there yet. Normally they're 6 dollars yeah, that's right. They're normally 6 dollars each. This is 13 98 for the two, would we be normally, but we're gonna take two pounds off, 11 98 and you get 12 of these, this will keep you going for quite some time. Nothing worse than ro running out of your glue refills. We've got lots of you multi-buying on this. Well, it's worth it, isn't it? Because it's one of those things, that if you have a glue pen, you use it like I do, you know you need just you, the glue sticks. When you get your two pans off, you may as well use it. And remember, everybody who shops today gets a free pattern. We can't tell you what it is because we don't know, be it random. Money off and a free pattern. And when you check out, it will tell you what your free pattern is. You can't choose because we've got it has to be random, otherwise it'd be too complicated. But you will get a free pattern. Many of them are worth $9.99 as well. So that's a fantastic gift today. Okay, so cats, I've just had a look to see how much how much the sew line pen refills are. So she went on to had she had a look online and one pack eight pounds seventy nine on the Long River website eight pounds seventy nine and we are charging eleven ninety eight for two. Look at that eight pounds seventy nine for one. And these are assorted colours. Well, I never really understand why the glue is assorted colour. Does it matter because it dries clear? Never really understood that. So. They sell them on diff uh, different colours, but I don't know why, because it dries clear. There's another one. What's that? Seven ninety five just for one, for six, because you get six in a pack. And we're doing eleven ninety eight for less than a pound a stick. Well, bargain. Bargain, that is. Little offer for you. Right, so those are the sew line pens. Glues. Uh, very limited, very, very limited. If you want one of those, you do need to put it in your basket and check out. Yes, we've only ever done it once before. That was an early bird, that was ages ago, so if you want it, you do need to check out. What should we do next? Should we do foundation paper? Now, if you do foundation paper piecing, then, and you've not used this, this will change your life. If you want to do foundation paper piecing, buy some of this, it's brilliant. When you do foundation paper piecing, you obviously have, you sew through the fabric and the paper. When you've completed the whole thing, you need to tear the paper away. 
I mean, I used to use just cheap photocopier paper. This makes a massive difference. It's really lightweight. So when you join sections together, particularly with FPP, you can end up with sections that have got three or four um, joins. And then you join pieces together. You get so much bulk, it's quite hard to sew through. So it's, it's very thin. It won't do that. But it's also absorbent as well. So that when you, if you want to, because you can draw onto foundation print, paper or you can run it through your printer it'll work because it's exactly the size in of your print of an a4 you can use it in most um inkjet or laser printers but it's absorbent so you don't want the ink to sit on top because you want it transferring um and it doesn't slip as well it's like a matte fabric so when you've if sometimes when you use printer paper it's got a slight sheen to it and your fabric can slip which is difficult when you're doing this and this that doesn't happen and it more more importantly it tears away really easy because you know what it's like when you've made foundation paper piece and you've got hundreds of little bits it takes ages to, but this tears away really beautiful now normally these are 14.99 a pack i mean there's 100 sheets in here which is a fantastic price anyway for 100 sheets 14.99 so for the pack of 2 well, two is normally 49 times for 100. So for the pack of two, £29.98 normally. But this is our bundly bundles hour. So today we're going to give you £23.98. £6 off. Whoa. Well, it's the sixth, isn't it? So if you do foundation paper piecing, this is an ideal opportunity. Buy one, buy two get six pounds off 23 pounds and 98 pence i mean that really is a fantastic offer it's nice isn't it that we can sort of bundle together some fabrics for you but also some of the basic things that you want and need as well 23 pounds and 98 pence right more bundles these are some we've got some beautiful um fabric bundles here that are big big pieces of fabric right should we start with this lovely rose colour? So in here, five and a half metres. Whoa. Rose and Hubble quality. I mean, this is our normal quilting weight. Rose and Hubble quality. I need to just move these over. Out of the way. There we go. Five and a half metres. I love this colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? £36.89. So you save £1.50 by five and a half metres. Ideal if you if you want a lot of it because you know that you use it. Maybe for a quilt backing, ideal. You love the colour, you want to save a bit and you want this big quantity. Five and a half metres. Ideal for backing a quilt. £36.89. It is your 44 inch width but it is beautiful quality. If you're backing a quilt, don't use poor quality fabric. It will make a difference. It doesn't have to be beautifully patterned or amazing, but use decent quality fabric. It does make a difference. So that's five and a half metres. That's in this dark, this rose colour. We also have elephant. Love elephant. It was really strange. I mean, grey, when we started lockdown, couldn't get hold of it. Everybody wanted grey fabric. I guess it's just one of those neutral, multi-use fabric. Often more use, well, more useful than black. Just a lovely neutral colour. A lot of people use it as a background. And I find, if you're doing something like rainbow quilt, that kind of thing, then to have um, a grey as a background works much better than a stark white or a black. It, if you're never sure what colour to put something with, go for grey. And this elephant is lovely because it's a very mid-grey. Again, you're not sure whether you want light or dark. £36.89, five and a half metre. And it's a £1.50 saving, which has always got to be worth it. If you want the fab, if you, you know, if you want the fabric anyway, you may as well. Um, I've got it in a lovely orange. This is Wow Orange. I don't think that's its actual name. But this is, yeah, this is Tangerine. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Looks lovely with grey as well. But, you know, remember, you can use this for quilt backing. You can use it for homeware. You can use it for dressmaking. Makes a really lovely lining fabric at £33.40 for five. Oh, that one's five metres, slightly less. That one is five metres. But you're still getting your £1.50 saving, though. Five metres, £33.40. Nice, nice. 
Um, and I have one more. Finally, this one which is beige. I'm going to say, what's this one called? It's kind of a neutral colour. I don't like the word beige. It always sounds a bit boring, doesn't it? Beige. This is kind of your very useful neutral colour. Very good if you're doing twirls. Um, lovely for a quilt back in again. Um, linings of things, maybe cushion backs. You've got five and a half. Is this one? F no, this one's five, isn't it? Yeah, you've got five metres there. So, you know, if you're doing cushion backs or um, lining things, really useful for that. Just to have the five metres of a, it's a very pale biscuity colour. Lovely. £33.40. and 40 pence. Right, early bird. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. It's hiding in the machine. I couldn't find I couldn't find it. It was hiding in the machine. So if you weren't with me at eight o'clock, why? Why? I was. Maybe you were maybe you were walking the dog or was it Monday taking the kids to school, going shopping? If you missed out on this one, I just want to run through. You missed out on the bobbin winder. That's sold out. I love that. But we have got this amazing offer for you. All comes in a nice box. So, in the box, you get, in this, the stuff in it, you get the plastic box doo -doo 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 -doo, and 27, 27 spools of Gutterman thread. Now, we did all the maths, well, Kat did all the maths for it, actually. Um, the, we have found, for this price, we have found the box. The box has all, like, little spikes in it, so it keeps them all still. It's not just a plastic box. The boxes always fly out. We normally we normally sell the box on its own for four ninety nine. We find it. We've looked around, and normally the boxes in other places are seven pound twenty five. Now in here you get twenty seven spools of Gutterman thread. It is their um, their sew all thread. I just can get the weather. It is their sew all thread. So it's one hundred percent polyester. It's the one that I use all the time for general piecing, um, patchwork, quilting, that stuff. I, I tend to save my um, more high-end thread for quilting and top thread, top thread, but this is beautiful quality. It is Gutterman thread. And normally, these would cost about 190, that's what I'd pay, between 190 and two pounds per reel. So, they're not, we had to look on Hobbycraft and they cost two pounds a spool there. <laughs> They are, sorry, not supposed to say that, but they were, they just, shh, we'll just rewind that bit. But they do cost two pounds a spool there. <coughs> so if you do 27 times two, that's 54 pounds, plus <coughs> the box, which is 7.25, makes it 61 pounds and 25 pence, and we are selling it at 49.99, but we're not today, we're not. Normally, because it's an early bird. That would be our normal price, and even then it's discounted. And remember, you've got all the colours of the rainbow in this box and neutrals as well. So it's not $49.99, $39.99, 27 reels of thread. You've got all of the blacks, whites, creams, neutrals, and you've got all the colours of the rainbow. And you've got things like four blues, really useful. But what a fantastic gift. Well, gift to yourself even. Because you know what it's like, you don't have all of the threads you need or you run out of them. And it's great, you've never, you've never got that exact shade of green that you need. And look, here we've got three, four. It's amazing, isn't it? We can't find, we've had tried to see if we can, so to give you a price comparison to show that you are saving money, we've tried to find a version of it full and we can't find one. It's not very easy at all, so maybe we're very lucky we've got this on. I don't know how we found this. We've got some amazing connectors to have got this because we can't find it anywhere else. Also, on the back of the box, it does list the colour numbers you get, which is really useful because I always find, I don't know about me, when I put these in my sewing machine, it always pokes the end off, and then I've never got any idea what the colour number is. So that is on the box as well if you ever wanted to replace them. But you've got all the colours that you need there. Pinks and blues... Yeah, if you can't, if you do find it somewhere else, I don't know where we've, how we've managed to get this because we can't find it because we always like to be able to give you price comparisons so you can see that we do give you special offers and special deals because look at it all. I'll give you a little look. 
But remember, that $39.99 will only be till midnight tonight. After that, it'll go back up to $49.99. But even then, it's a bargain. And it, and it comes with a lid. It's brilliant. If you want to sort all your storage out, stack them up. Because... My threads are all sitting in just a loose box and they're all getting tangled all the time. So you can just pop it in there. Nice present, very easy to wrap. Look at this picture of all the threads on the sides. I'd like a bit of packaging. Oh, let's turn it around. <laughs> it's 27 spools, 39.99. Should be, should be, should be more. Yeah, I mean, normally if you were gonna buy that, again, at, 12, at two pounds a spool, you would be paying the 60, 61.25 sort of mark, wouldn't you? Amazing. Well, have a think about it. I mean, it is a really good, it is a really good thing to have in your stash because it's it's having the colours, because I always find, I don't know, I've never, I tend to, I will buy maybe a reel of thread to use for a specific project, but then I don't tend to buy general thread and then I haven't got anything that matches. So always miss out on the colours. So that's really useful, isn't it? Perfect. Perfect. Um, we've got loads and loads of you. We're just having a look. We've got a lot of you with that in your basket. So please make sure that you're checking out on that because if you don't, other people will come along and take it. It's been really popular today. We just thought we'd show you again for those of you. There's only a few left of them for the for those of you who weren't with me at eight o'clock this morning. Um, thought you'd want to see that again. Right. Um, just very, very quickly, I just want to mention to you before we finish this out, before Alison comes in, um, the special offer that we've got on the 720 Pro. Let me just bring in this, the last day that this offer is on today. So the price of this sewing machine, this beautiful, semi-industrial, gorgeous sewing machine <coughs> is 1699. However, however, if you, by the, today is the last day of the offer, you will get free, no, you get, oh, 100 pounds. You know, we, we were talking about it yesterday, whether it was free, whatever. You will get 100 pounds credited to your Sewing Street account and you use it in January. So if you buy it, um, today's the last day, we've been running it for a few days now, but it ends at midnight tonight. If you buy this beautiful sewing machine, you will receive a hundred pound credit that will be put onto your Sewing Street account that you can use in January. There's loads of you that have taken advantage. It is a beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, it's really high end. It's very hard to find elsewhere. It's got a beautiful deep throat and this is all metal. It's a really solid machine. If you're if you're starting off with sewing or you've got you need to replace your machine you're thinking which one shall I get this is a great one to move to because it's a real workhorse it's solid it will it's got loads and loads of stitches and it does all the normal things like the thread cutting and it's but it's very computerized as well it's got your LED screen it's got individual bobbin winder as well but I think for me it's the fact that it's very deep here very good for quilting and it's a really solid machine so it's going to go through lots of layers it's going to keep you going for years and years so it's like having a really old-fashioned solid machine but brought up to date with the computerized part as well it's got loads of stitches look at loads of them now it's a considered purchase, we know that. It is 1699, so we have put it onto split pay. If you want to have the sewing machine, but you'd rather spread the cost, obviously we don't charge anything, there's a 0% interest on that. It's just an easier way of you doing it. So it is four split payments of 339.80. So the way that works is that we'll take the 339 pounds 80 out of your account now. You will be sent the sewing machine direct from the manufacturer um, now, straight away. And then the other three payments will be taken out at monthly intervals afterwards. I mean, we don't charge interest. We don't make any money from that. It's just that we know a lot of you with um, purchases like this want a little bit of help just to make it easy, easier to get hold of so that we just spread the payments. It's even got all these stitches. I love the fact it's got like a clipboard, a clipboard with all the stitches that fits into the back as well. I think that's lovely so much there but anyway i just wanted to remind you of that so look you can put them up there um the machine will still be available after that but you won't get the 100 pounds so if it is something you're considering if you do need a new sewing machine you're having a look around 
go onto the website. It lists on there all the features and bonuses there. If you go to the Well Elna website, you can download the manual there so you can really read. This is not something that you just want to buy as a snap decision. It's something you need to think about. Um, have a look online, see if you can find it anywhere else. Remember that you will get the £100 off. Remember that when you're looking at this, there is the 720 Pro because there is an Elvino X and 720, so do have a look to make sure that you're getting the 720 Pro. But read all the benefits and all the features and see if this is the machine you want. But with the £100 credited to your um, Sewing Street account, if you're going to get it, that offer does end at midnight tonight. So just wanted to remind you about this beautiful sewing machine. Right, are you ready? Are you ready for the next hour with this amazing quilt? Brand new designer, Valerie Wells, talented. She's designed the quilt. She's designed the fabrics. It's all based on her own block printing. Absolutely beautiful. I will be back here in just a couple of minutes time and we'll be talking it through. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page 
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. And welcome back to Sewing Street. So this hour is all about the beauty, beautiful, enchanted trellis twist quilt kit. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is um, designed by and using fabrics designed by Valerie Wells. She is, she's brand new, brand new, not brand new. She is brand new to us. We haven't featured her before, her fabrics, her quilts. It's absolutely gorgeous. She has got such a long heritage of design and artwork and creativity. She, the way that she designs her fabrics is using her own block printing. So they're beautiful. What I like about them is her choice of colors. They're fresh, they're exciting. They're not sort of brights and primaries, but they just look, there's so much interest in every single fabric. And then the, the way she designs her quilts is all based around the fabric design itself. So it's not just, oh, well, I'll use that fabric to do that. It, the, the design of the quilt complements the fabrics used. So the quilt we've got hanging up behind Alison at the moment, you've been seeing that already. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. The quilt is, well, 199 by 199 centimetres. So you're talking a two metre square quilt. That's amazing. You know, that is king, king size bed quilt, really. So let's have a look in the quilt kit. It's beautifully boxed. Just taking the sleeve off, you get the sleeve in there you get 12 different fabrics. So there we are in the kit, you've got the full instructions, how to make it the quilt. What I love about it is that it gives you a little photo of each of them. So the, the, um, the, the fabrics are labeled, you know, A, B, C, D, E, but there's photos of them. Cause you know how sometimes you get a kit and you think, I have no idea what that fabric is. Really clear, easy to understand diagrams. You've got a photo of the finished thing. There's um, curves, but Alison says actually, she was like, oh no, there's curves. Actually quite simple. You've got curves, you've got templates. So those are all in the instructions, everything you need to know in there. Then we have the fabric, all wrapped in tissue paper. So let me, let me have a look. Almost impossible to open this neatly. I've tried before. <gasps> look, and then inside, all wrapped, tied up in ribbon. You feel, almost feel like you don't want to open it. It's beautiful, isn't it, look? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, look at the colours. You can tell now, when I said to you earlier that a lot of her fabrics are designed around block prints, you can tell, can't you? So look at this one. So you've got all the fabric, all the pieces, it's all pre-cut, exactly how much you need. So, in, so this is the way that you get to save money. If you had to buy the fabric that you need for this, buy the individual, if you had to buy half a metre of it, it would cost you a lot more because this has been cut exactly to what you need. I mean, look at that, look at the colours. You've got that really clear turquoise set against the pumpkin orange and then the, the light teal and the fuchsia shades there it's absolutely stunning but it it is you can see how the design has been worked on these really um, old-fashioned block block traditional block prints that's just one of the fabrics this is absolutely gorgeous isn't it i absolutely love valley wells fabric um, then we've got smaller pieces because we don't need as much of these this one with this beautiful fuchsia pink background and the circles and featuring they're like, let me open this one. They, you can see that they have that block print effect because the, um, they don't show up completely. It's like they've been stamped on there. So you've got this lovely trailing vine with the swallows. There's so much interest in this fabric. 
So when it's created into the quilt, I mean, this is the beauty of buying a kit, isn't it? You don't have to think about it. You know it's there. You've got this one. Look at this one. Again, it features the swallows, but then you've got words here and there. Kind and love. Isn't that pretty? And look, and you've got this, the background. This is like multi-layered. The background has got these um, beige, neutral colored prints. On top of that, you've got these orange hexagons. Then on top of that, you've got the trailing leaves and then the, the pink. Then on top of that again, you've got the swallows and the words. So this is a very multi-layered fabric and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so unusual, not something you, not something I've ever seen anything like. I can't even say who I think this is like. This is absolutely one-off. Maybe it's, you know, it's a bit, little bit, well, a little bit Anna Maria. Colours maybe a little bit cave. The sort of, um, the quirkiness of Tula. But it's just beautiful, isn't it? Then you've got another one here with with circles on. These are all used on these in the individual flowers. It's not even like you've got one fabric in different colourways. Each fabric look, really looks quite different. I love this leaf print. Um, this one's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, the fabric is beautiful. We could spend the whole hour talking about this, really. But we've got to get on with the quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Alison is very patiently wait, very patiently waiting. Oh, this! I bet you loved getting this quilt. Yeah, it's lovely. It's beautiful yeah, fabric, isn't it? It is really lovely. And it's free spirit fabric, so it is beautiful quality. So we look at this. We've got loads. So this one is the border. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that one's. On, this one is used in the border around it. I mean, look at that. You've, it does look like it's under the sea. And I think the reason for that is this multi-layered thing. You've got the background with these diamond trellis shapes and then everything is layered on top of that. So you've got these flowers. I mean, Valerie Well, she is such a talented fabric designer. Where do you even start coming up with the idea to make that? I mean, that is just absolutely stunning. You get loads of that, but then that is used for the big border around it. Let me just hold up this fabric because it's got a very big repeat across, a horizontal repeat on the vertical. Look at that. So down the centre of it, you don't often see that, do you? Where down the centre, like a panel, you've got these beautiful stars, but all made in a trellis effect. And with the birds, I mean, it's lovely. Every time you look at it, it's lovely. And that is used on the border. So that really frames, and showcases the whole quilt. There's a lot of that one. I'll have a look in a minute, I'll tell you how much. Um, so that's that fabric. I love this design. And then you've got this gorgeous, lovely pumpkin orange. That is used all around each of the squares. You get quite a bit of that. Loads of that. And then to complement it, the background, to make all of these beautiful colours stand out, you've got just a really neutral print, but it has the lovely diamond-shaped sort of trellis print on it that is featured in a lot of the other fabrics. So to all, to all in all, the, I mean, she, obviously it's lovely when you get a quilt kit that is where the fabric and the design has been designed by the same person because it all flows together. I mean, it's beautiful. I think you'll have leftover fabric. I mean, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right. Do you want... So, oh, we've got... Yes, Hayley did some research into this to so just give you a bit of information about Valerie herself. Those wow. are some of the other quilts that she has created. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, yes, yeah, she's a quilter, author, author, fabric and pattern designer, painter and photographer absolutely gorgeous aren't they lovely really really lovely so that's all the information about valerie she's an iconic quilter textile and pattern designer printmaker photographer and business owner she presents a freshness in design crediting an intimacy between pattern detail and color based in sisters oregon valerie's collection of work reaches a unique local and global market i mean it is beautiful isn't it it's just so, if you want to know more about Valerie, do you want me to read it all out? <laughs> Valerie Wells embodies the true meaning of the word 
innovator in the field. Born into and surrounded by fabric from birth, she was conditioned daily in unspoken ways, living and breathing art, colour and textiles into the fibre of her being. Supported by a loving, powerful and creative mother, she has had the perfect platform to blossom into the successful woman she is today. Her artistic journey has included many chapters of creative experience, obviously, all visually um, focused, alternately tr God, what the heck? Turning, turning her into, an, I can't read that, into the unique fabric designer she has become now. Currently printing onto fabric with her uniquely hand-carved blocks added an element into the textile market that is ornate, exotic and a style of her own. She is edgy and her work speaks to those who design artist hands in their choice of fabrics. There we go. That tells you everything about Valley Wells. It's, it's, I mean, she is, it's fantastic, beautiful design. Um, so, uh, Alison, how did you find the pattern and the Fine. design? Like I said, it, when I saw, ooh, a curve. <laughs> but <laughs> it, because um, I'd never done a curve in a block before. Um, right. All the okay. quilting I've done, I've never done any curves. It's all curves. been straight. It's all been straight lines. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. No, that's really nice, isn't it? Because I'm yeah. sure there are a lot of us quilt makers out there who but it's also haven't. But it's explained really well. Mm. And I think the lovely thing about this quilt, because the border that you just said, you've got loads of that, but you've also got a fat quarter of that because there's a block in it as well. Oh, so you okay. Do, um, this is obviously one of the finished blocks, but you do need to, when you open your pack check and familiarize yourself with all the fabrics because well what i tend to do obviously oh, i but wouldn't it's like a smaller version isn't it in the um oh no it's not there is a smaller no, version a almost one, but yeah. that's a different one again yeah. oh so you do need to be sure that you've got the right one. right okay yeah. but they are all labeled with pictures aren't they yeah they are but um we've got also the numbers and everything and i tend to tick it all off and then make sure i've got the right things um because the fat quarters have got very specific cutting out layouts so the layout is actually very specific um and i assume that if you don't do it this way you're not going to get it everything won't work. yeah so the price yeah. of this quilt is 199 pounds 99 pence which is a brilliant price because you've got all the fabric and yeah. all the instructions. However, we are going to drop the price. We've given you a few little offers today. Um, because this is the first time we've had Valerie Wells' fabric on air, we want to celebrate it by giving you a small discount. So the normal price would be $199.99. Um, but today, we are going to take £30 off for you because it is... It is gorgeous. If you've already checked out, don't worry. You will have the third. You will only be charged the lower price. But it is a brand new. We wanted to show you what the full price is. This is what it will be cost in other places. One hundred ninety nine. But at midnight, it will go back up to one nine nine ninety nine. Um, this is just an introductory offer because we haven't had Valerie Wells, Valerie Wells fabric before. So one hundred six ninety nine. We will split that into three equal payments if you want to. It's interest free. Fifty six pounds and sixty six pence. You will have one payment taken off you now. You'll be sent the kit straight away, and then the two will be in January and February. So as an introductory offer, this kit will be is one hundred and sixty nine ninety nine. Fantastic price because it's gorgeous. Yeah, Have a look I on the website to see that. Sorry, Alison. No, it's all right. I think this is so striking because of the contrasts in colour. It is, isn't it? it? A lot of quilts, when you get a, a quilt kit, it, a lot of the colours can blend, mm. which makes it a little bit more difficult. But this is, this because it's so such a contrast with all the fabrics, it's obvious what's going to go where. Right. So, um, yeah, so you get So does that make it in that on. way easier to do then? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got um, every square is a different fabric. Every block, I should say, is a different fabric. Yeah. Um, and you've just got these here. Well, I guess it's just showcasing. I mean, the fabrics are so beautiful, mm. aren't they? By having one yeah. big flower in each fabric, it really stands out, doesn't it? And breaking it down, we've just got three rows, basically, and then you put your, your triangles on the corner. Okay. But um, for anybody that... Um, is starting afresh with this sort of thing you get templates 
I've taken a photocopy so I can write on this, yes. but obviously you will have the, the nice glossy version. But your templates at the back, I d it depends how you like to do your own templates, but what I do is I take a photocopy mm. and then laminate it if you've got a friend or someone that can laminate it if you haven't got a laminator and then you've got quite a nice sturdy template that you can actually draw oh, okay. around yeah i mean obviously you can use them and pin them down but this way all you have to do well, i've got a piece of fabric here i'll just show you i have already cut everything out but i'll show you this is the um the central bit on the on the curve so this is the piece that you'll cut out so when you've laminated it all you have to do is just to hold it onto your fabric. And well, I guess you could cut it out in card, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You could draw around the paper onto card yeah. and do it that way if you, if you didn't have a laminator. And then you just draw around the outside edge and then it's nice and easy to cut out. But again, they are very specific with your layout because with this one, you have to make sure that you get two pieces either side, so you do need a, need a mirror image. Oh, okay. So and it's it tells worth you reading. all of that. Yeah, it's worth reading the <laughs> before you start. Yeah, so that sort of read before you start, in this case, yeah. you should really. Yeah, so then you would go on again and do another one a little further on. And then they're all ready just to cut out. And I use scissors. I I don't like doing curves with rotary cutters. I know a lot of people do. Oh no, I'm too. I've done that once and cut right through the middle of the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> so never again. Yeah. No. So I, I don't. I tend to use scissors there. Yeah. We haven't got any more plasters now, so you can't, <laughs> so you can't cut them again. I've had them all. <laughs> so that's when you're doing your templates. But the layout of the actual flower itself is you've got your curve here and that's your central block here and then you've just got your two squares on the outside so although it looks like it's all one piece you've got your two squares with your pieced bit in the center so if I show you that pieced bit the bit that I thought oh no <laughs> <laughs> So we've got our centre and we've got our two pieces. So they're going to go like that. That's where I say you need to make sure that you cut them properly so you get the mirror image. Yeah, but there are pictures of that. that. It does say yes, exactly It's really, show really you. clear. Yeah, it's really clear there. Mm. And it tells you, it shows you as well. So I quite like the fact it gives you a cutting there. It tells you cut this and cut that so that you do it in order and that you use the yes. fabric properly as yes. well. That's yeah. really been thought through. So I'm just going to run the glue pen along the outside edge of the largest piece. I'm trying to do this with my head back so that I, you don't <laughs> keep getting a, a view of my scalp. <laughs> <laughs> And then you take the center piece and start at the top, which is the large piece of the green. Obviously, you're going to do it in all different colors, one at a time. So if we, and I think I would rather than, you know, doing all of these sections in all of the colors, I would complete an individual block. Right, okay, so do one block at a time. Yeah. But that's quite nice, isn't it? Because you can then spend time to get yeah. each block right. And also it's nice that in, in the instructions, it does say somewhere, you will have a little overhang at the end because that would uh, be a bit disconcerting if you'd done that. <laughs> right, because you're working you on bias. Yeah. So I haven't stretched it, but she does say, somewhere here uh, yeah, you, want you want to, to see, see a, a little, little bit. bit of overhang at the bottom yeah. of the pieces which is really good when you haven't done this before yeah because absolutely it's easy to think that you've done something wrong and then think oh perhaps I've got to stretch that to fit in there so you don't stretch it at all so now that's glued down and I'm just with a quarter of an inch foot going to go around the the curve Right, I'm going to put my 
stitch length down. I, I piece with a 1.8. I know some people do too, but my machine automatically goes to a 1.8 when I'm quilting. So when you've got all of these different colour, what colour do you paint and um, thread you use? I've just got a cream. Okay. Um, because, because I think that they've quilted it in like a, a pale green. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, a, it's like a pale green, but you can't see it, can you? No, not at all. So just go for a cream then. Yeah, yeah I've got cream in here and I did cream at home. So we're going to go around the outside edge. Now what you need to do is you need to go a little bit because we've got all these um, kind of folds there. Yes. So with the needle left down, I'm just going to lift lift the foot and then put it back down again so that these pieces can actually go to the back of the foot. So if you find that you... Rather you than look, just bunching yes, that's up. What you yeah. mean. But so I guess with the gluing... Can you, oh, you can see it, yeah, yes. So see. I'm going to lift, lift that up and then I'll just move that along towards the back a little bit. Turn and again, I'll move the fabric around a little. I guess the gluing really makes it go. so much easier as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you, it could pin. Pin, you could pin it, but, but you, they do say glue in the instructions. But you just get a bit more accuracy. Well, it's easier, isn't it? Yeah. So there we are. That's the... the That's so, the so curved neat. Seam. And then we need to... But that looks, Press it, it doesn't look too difficult. It wasn't. Right, <laughs> I just say, is it because you've made it look no, easy? No, it really isn't or that difficult. And they, they're very <laughs> specific with the pressing as well. You mm. press that towards the uh, the larger piece. Right. So you, you're going to press that to, the, to there. Oh yeah, no, it does say press, press the seam towards. I really like it when it does that because you know, as I know it's some people prefer to press to one side, some open, but there, there are, are some are that times. they say press to the side, and some of them, like the this here, is pressed open. Yeah, but so they are they are quite specific, and that's with quite the nice when you're details. told because yeah. you don't then have to think about it. Particularly, I like it when they tell you which side to press because then it all works together. Yeah. So that's a that's a curved. This is, I piece. think, this is lovely because it's <laughs> quite. Um, you do obviously bit by bit, and because you're creating one block, once you've done that, you then you move on. It's quite, and then you yeah. change fabric colour. Yeah. To move on to the next so one. So it won't get boring, will it? No, not at all. It's a bit like. It's nice to have that change in things, though, isn't it? Yeah. It is the sort of make sixty-eight flying geese, which is <laughs> lovely because you can sit there, and just make them. But sometimes you. It can get a bit repetitive. I think that's why we all have different projects for different times. Everyone goes, oh, why don't you get one project uh, yeah. finished? Well, well it, it doesn't work like feeling. that, does it? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work I like that. I might be in the 68 flying <laughs> geese mood or right. the curved piecing mood. Just there depends, really. And she also mentions in the pattern that at the point where the, the pieces join, mm. which I think is lovely, it's a nice nice thing to put in there. Some people, depending on their machine, some, of, some people, this will be right tight together okay what, yes what you mean yes oh yes they've got a little gap there so but they said as long okay. as they're consistent because it can do with your be to do with the foot on your machine oh, okay so i'll just finish this one here. and no points to match them this may vary a bit between the way different again quilters, i'm trying to do it without my head over the top but it's no i would can't normally see your head. you're all right This is lovely, though, isn't it? Because it does make a difference when people put this sort of information in, isn't it? Because otherwise you, you look at it thorough. and then you look at the picture and go, oh, I can't really yeah. see. Should those be together? Yeah, or? it's very thorough. It's lovely. Right, there we go. You'll be interested to see, actually, how much So what space sort of level of quilt, put quilting um, sewer do you need to be to do this? I wouldn't say it's a beginner. Do mm, they no. say what they think it is? Um... Skill level intermediate, yeah. Right, yeah. I would say an advanced beginner. Uh, yes. Someone who's done a lot of straight quilting and just fancies, you and know, then, extending their skills yes, a bit. Yes, and a little bit of a challenge. The rest as of well. it is is very straightforward. It's just oh, looking okay. at the curves. 
Well, it's one of those things because you're doing one block at a time as well. You can, you know, do bit by bit. And I mean, and you'll learn by every one. And what you find, you can note down in your instructions, yeah. can't you? It really is something that you would, you could, well, you could hang it on the wall or put it on a bed. But it is, yeah. it is. Um, well, it would fit a king size bed. It's a feature piece, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah, that one's come a little bit tighter than my machine at home, but. Uh, they do say they're somewhere, you know, as long as you're consistent with all your That's blocks, true. it doesn't then, matter. Do you know what I always think with these But you're quilts, going to trim it up that anyway. By the time you've um, quilted it and put it all together, you know, and I get quite meticulous with matching my seams and everything, but then once you've done it all... Yeah, but you're the only one that will notice <laughs> I know! Everyone else will just marvel at them. You don't even <laughs> notice it, do you? You think, oh, no. oh, is my seam beautifully matching? Yeah. But by the time you've sewn it all together and quilted it, and it's absolutely fine. There, so that is the curved seam. Beautiful. Well, I think the glue, I mean, I guess you can do it with pins, but obviously the glue will help. We do yeah. have the glue pen yeah. and the refill. So if you're going yeah. to buy the kit, um, we'll like show you, Alison, show you, it, it will help if you get the glue. And not only that, the glue and the stick is really useful. In the, um, the glue pen, you do get two um, glue sticks because you get one in there and one refill. But if you want the refills as well, we do have those. Have a look on the website, they're on there. The cutting out as well, it's it's very specific on sizing because there's some where it's two and one eighths and and uh, that's two and three quarters, but six and seven eighths. So as long as you're Whoa. as long as you're good it's with very that, specific. Yeah, but it works and it everything goes together properly mm. then. It's funny though, when you look at that you think, oh six and seven eighths, but is it any it's harder to cut that than it is to cut seven? Yeah, it's, it, line, it's isn't not it? difficult no. if you've got a, a quilting ruler yeah. with, that's divided up and they're all divided up. So yeah, it's no more difficult to cut that than a seven inch strip, no. is it? It's just No, the, it's just it's lining up your line. Yeah, yeah that's true. just looking at it, you think, Oh goodness. Yes, that's very, <laughs> very specific. But then with quilting, it has to be accurate, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, and it all fits so well. So now I'm, I'm folding over to find my middle. So I'm lining up the ends of the curves and then folding in the centre there because all I need to do is to just finger press that bit there because we're trimming the block down now to two and one eighth. I'm just going to check. I'm sure it's two and one eighth. Yeah. So we've got two and one eight. So we've got this down here. Then we've got this up there. And then we're going to trim that off. Oh, <laughs> ruler moved. It's not very good. <laughs> I know, I've done that. And you think, oh, oh dear. <laughs> so we've got four and a half now. Because this is two and one eighth, obviously the whole thing is going to be four and a half. Okay. Oh, hang on. A four, and a, four and a quarter. Two and one eight. So it's yeah. going to be four and a quarter. Yeah. I quite like it when they they tell you to trim something after you've sewn it because that yeah. sort of um, allows for small yeah. margins of error and straightening up. When I do half square triangles, I, I always make mine extra see large. Can move that along the I, like, board. I like a good trim. It's a bit of a, a bump in there. Yeah, I think because you're using that. Yeah. I should have got a green one up. There we go. That should be all right. We know it's moving. I'll do it slowly. There we go. Right, now this one, mm. we're going to have it six and a half, I think. And then you've got to trim off the top here. I don't know whether, actually, can I show you? It says here, trim off. And then you've got to have, on this little bit of green, you've got to have a width of at least one eighth. Ah, uh, okay. So this this piece here is six and a half, but you need to make sure that this bit here you've got at least one eighth width, which oh, we so can easily do. End, yeah. I think it's a really good introduction to curve piecing because they've done all the maths and all the working yeah. out. That once yeah. you've made something like this, you can it's see a really that. it's a really good skill builder for next yeah. time. You think, oh, yeah. oh, I know how that works now. How the so curve I've works. got I've got this bit here. This is the point there that they mean you need mm. to have at least one eighth here. So we're going to cut trim that off. Wow, half of the stock of the quilt. Sorry, that was Hayley. Sorry, sorry, I'll apologise for Hayley. 
half of the We're stock. We're having a party. <laughs> Half of the stock has already gone, but then I'm not surprised. We have given them a £30 introductory discount. Um, when you've made your quilt, please send me a photo. I mean, I'm just... This, she's brand, Valerie Wells, brand new to us, but I've never seen her fabrics. I'm hoping that we will have more of her fabrics in. I hope we could get it... Um, I hope we'll be able to get it in and sell it by the half metre because it is absolutely stunning fabric. I mean, I don't know whether we will... Wait, well... Because she's introductory, we often do this when we have a new designer. We'll give her a discount, so we won't be doing this again. This is my favourite one. This I don't is know lovely, why. Isn't it? This, I just think that the colours and it's just beautiful. Well, it's like fussy cutting this centrepiece out of yes. that fabric you've got there. Oh, it makes such a difference. Is that in the centre of all of them then? Yes. Oh, I flowers. see. Yeah, because what you do, it is somewhere else. And it says to use the remainder. Is there a flower of it? Yes, there's a flower down here actually in that fabric. Oh, I see. So it tells you to cut those out oh, first. Oh, OK. And then cut, use the remainder to fussy cut because they call it something else. <laughs> Fuzzy cut or something like that. But, I mean, you know, half the stock have gone of this already. If you've got it in your basket, you really need to check out because we, we only bought a few. She's a brand new designer. We're pretty confident that it would sell because we love it. But, you know, well, that's the only yeah, benchmark it, it we is. have, really, yeah. isn't it? Is yeah. we buy what we love. Yeah. So you can and see now, once that's all, um, that's done, that piece there, that you've got four of those. And you've just got three rows. So you've got that in the centre of two squares. You've right. got those two either side of the small square. Oh, I see. And that's how that one is put together. So I'll just oh, assemble I those. I mean, I think right it is together. incredibly, in fact, that they've given you enough fabric and worked out so that you can fussy cut, because they're quite big motifs, aren't they, yeah, these they centres? Are. Yeah. I think that is my favourite one. It's very bold, isn't oh, it? We've got a message from Sue. Hello, everyone, is there a party? <laughs> I think Hayley's having a party. She got very excited. She was um, very excited we'd sold over half of the stock. We're excited. But I then know why they're excited. They've got a very special guest in there. <laughs> but I don't think I'm allowed to say who. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> very special guests. <laughs> um, it is like a tile, though, isn't it? When I mean, this one's called tile. Oh, is that what the fabric is called? Well, it's called Enchanted, but this particular one yeah. is called tile. Please do check out your baskets. I said we only bought a limited number. I mean, she is because she's a brand new designer to us. So we didn't know, you know, how they've been. Obviously, she's very, very popular. So please, if it's in your basket, check out. This is what you need to be making over Christmas. In fact, cancel them. Tell everyone they've cancel got to go Christmas, home on Boxing I'm quilting. Day and say, I've got a quilt to be making. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you know, that would be my idea of heaven, is booking a week's holiday on my own with my sewing machine. Yeah, by no, the coast somewhere. No food to do. And, and um, yeah, nothing to do. Yeah, get people to and bring make you in food. this quilt. <laughs> yes, an order takeaway. Honestly, that would be my idea of heaven. Olive branches. There. They've, all got, they've all got different names. It's just beautiful. And if you've ever bought Free Spirit fabric, which is the K fabric um, and the Tula, you'll know the quality of it. It's Well, it's quilting weight cotton, but it's very soft and it's lovely to sew with. And more importantly, it's I think, is it's really nice to press. And I think when you're doing lots of piecing like this, the pressing's key, isn't it? And if it, um, yeah. and if it presses nicely, because yeah. fabric does press differently, doesn't it? It's, str it's pr oh, the strangest thing. All the thing. different ones, yeah. Yeah, why is that? Well, you think yeah, they're all 100% yeah, cotton. Yeah, you would think, wouldn't you? I'm just like, you've got to press this one. Um, Triangle, tall. Oh, I should be following it with box. you, shouldn't I? Uh, press seams away from the triangle set. Okay. Oh, I could have looked at the top one. I've already done that. <laughs> they have very <laughs> nice salvages, these fabrics. Please make sure you keep them and send them to me. Um, <laughs> I get the small of the ones I've cut. Do you keep yours oh, as well? Oh, I love salvage work. I love a salvage. I've made quite a few um, notebook covers from them, but now I've determined I'm not going to use any more until I've got enough for a skirt. Oh, it's funny you should say mm. that because I was saving them. I thought, I'm going to make myself a dress or something out of salvages. And I got a few and I thought, oh, I made a bag. <laughs> well, I made a notebook cover and then <laughs> little notebook covers. And now I'm determined because I've yeah. seen a picture on Pinterest of an A-line skirt with them. So all you need to do is make an A-line skirt from like a calico yeah and then put the salvages on top so i'm yeah. waiting yeah to have enough right the reason they tell you to um specifically 
P uh, press yes. is because these ones are going to the center. These ones are going out. So oh. you can, like we did last in the last project, you can nest them nicely. So if we just join up that piece there, and I will pin these ones. I, I tend to wing it quite a lot if I've only got a small square. And then we'll do that one. This is where it will show where the my quarter of an inch foot is different <laughs> at home to the one here. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because is it doesn't matter as long as you can. No, I mean, and all things are different, isn't it? I discovered recently that crochet hooks are the same as well. Oh, really? They're different well, sizes in different not, manufacturers. I don't know whether they're actually different sizes. I think the size of the handle affects how you crochet. How you use it, yeah. So I swapped crochet hooks halfway through a project, oh, and, and it, it changed. changed it. But yeah. it was because one had a thick, chunky handle, one had a fine handle, and I think I crocheted loosely ah. with a chunky handle and tightened it anyway. Never crossed my mind that. I don't think the hook like is a different size. Those knitting needles are the same though, aren't they? If you go from like a bamboo needle into a yeah. metal one or and something like that. And I'm yeah. sure the end of the hook or the diameter are the same, but I think it's the way that you maybe use it. Yeah. And the same with the machine as well. Maybe the foot or the way it operates means it's Definitely how you do Definitely quarter it. inch feet. Are who knew? Different we had with each mate. long yeah. conversations on our Yarn Lane Mystery Christmas crochet long about crochet hooks. I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm a very loose again. crochet. Um, it's almost lacy, my Oh, crochet. really? Well, I used yeah. to be. Well, I was an average one. and then I don't think I, I do enough, though. That's what it is. Well, for this blanket, I was using a really thick handled one. I'm not going to do that again because it was really loose. Yeah. Not uh, looser than I wanted. Mm. Anyway, anyone so who doesn't crochet wonder what on earth we're on about. <laughs> <sighs> What? Oh, look what I've done. Put it on upside down. Oh, well, do you know, I think it looks quite nice like that. That's called Make Your Own. Now I'm going to do it again, look. Make Your Own Design. Oh, yeah, but how many times do you there do that? I think it looks nice. <laughs> I have got my electric uh, stitch ripper with me, but we'll just carry on and I'll show you what's the time. I might have time to take it off, we'll see. It's fine. Yeah. This happens to everybody <laughs> all the time. Hayley's just been here. She's shouting again. Oh, is she giving us a special treat? Is that to apologise for squealing? <laughs> <laughs> so there are a f So over the half of the stockers are gone. There are a few of you with it left in your baskets. Um, and as a special treat for this brand new thing, we've given... Well, we've given you the introductory offer of £30 off. There are a few of you who still have it in your baskets. Um, so Hayley is going to drop the price for us. Ooh. Another £10. Now, don't worry, any of you who bought it at the beginning when it was 199 and then 169 don't worry, you will be charged the lower price. So we are going to drop it once more to £159.99. Please, over the half of the stuff has gone, if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. I mean, this is something that you're probably not going to make right at the moment, but something that you will make in the future. And it, it's a lovely task to do. I think I love the pattern, the fact that you make one block at a time and you've got a real learning experience here. You've got strips, you've got curves. I don't think it doesn't look difficult. The instructions are clearly, from what Alison says, very easy to understand. You obviously have to, you know, you've got to do some curves, you've got to do some glowing. It's certainly not beyond you. There's not but a lot of curves, though, so, you know, it's a nice one to start oh, with. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean... So it's a nice curve to start yeah. with, because not the whole thing has come. Yeah. I mean, and the fabric is exquisite. That's... I can't even... I mean, 159 for... And it is two metres square. Remember that. Two meter square that is massive isn't it so in the kit well you get 12 different fabrics 12 different prints well you do so for the um sand which is the background fabric you get over three and a half meters that's quite a lot isn't it i love this one that's in the border because it's got the orange down the middle of it Right. That's Can I just say this it? one, they tell you to press the seams open right. because we're going to put the outside border on. I've not pressed this one because I'm going to take that one off because okay. I've got the wrong way around. But if you do it upside better, you'll yeah. probably all do that. <laughs> and then what you need to do is unpick it and then put it back on the same way again. Yeah. Done that loads of time. <laughs> that's so e that's yeah. even more irritating. Right. So to make your outside edges there, the, 
the triangles okay. there. You piece together with the fabric strips, two inch I think and two and three quarters, I think they are, um, and press them all, seams open. And then with your um, ruler, it doesn't have to be one of these, but I love these because you don't have to have a rotary cutter as well. You need your 45 degree angle on your ruler and you're going to, uh, not that one, uh, hang on, let me think about this. Where's my 45? There's the 45 I need. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> I've got to make sure that this is in the right place. It might be easier for me to use a ruler, actually, for this bit, <laughs> because I need to get it there. There we are. So that 45, they tell you to have the 45 degree on one of the middle um, seams. Right, So okay. don't use your bottom piece here. Oh, because you're so cutting So we're going triangle. to cut there, yeah. So I need to line up the edge where it's going to be cut with my 45 degree. So that's there. We'll put that up. Oh, actually, I normally use the long one at home, which gives you the 45. I can't do it with this ruler because this oh, ruler okay, doesn't so go off. Mean, but yes, yeah, so you use yeah. your 45 degree to cut the triangle. Well done yeah. to everyone who's just checked out, got the extra 10 pounds off. Don't worry anyone who has already checked off. Uh, you won't get charged till midnight till the markets close anyway but you do need to complete your purchase because normally with these quilts if we don't sell out in this hour we will sell out during the rest of the day so if it's in your basket you will get leapfrogged and that means it's a bit like going around Sainsbury's and then they take stuff out of your baskets when you go to the toilet I always worry about that when I leave my <laughs> trolley outside because not that I've paid for it, but it's really annoying if I was thinking, oh, imagine if somebody took stuff out of your trolley. Um, now, that is, a, we can't, that is our special treat, and it is an introductory offer only because Valley Wells is £40 off. But it is worth £199.99. It really is with all the fabric you've got in it, but that's your introductory offer. So please make the most of it because at midnight, if there are any left, it will go back up. Right, so Alison, you cut So you don't triangles. measure anything, you do it you all just, with your okay. 5, 45 degree angle on your ruler. Which is all on every rotary cutter ruler yeah. anyway. Yeah, so you've got your triangle and then you're just going to piece two of those together. And that's what creates so that's, that. So that's where, how you get this mm. corner. So you, you've got your two, so you've got that one there and then you piece them together. So I've already done that on that one. Move that out of the way. And then you're going to add that to the one of the outside edges. So you do one there and one there. Mm. And then you do that one and then that one. And that is your square done. Yes, so we're going to... Because I was thinking, how do they do that? Because it looks almost like the square, it's almost appliqued on top. Yeah, yeah. But you've um, you've made battles. your you finger pressed the centre there to do your measurements. Right. But now you're going to use that finger press as well to put this this seam where you've joined the two triangles together. So that's going to go there, which gets you in the centre. I will pin this. But it's 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 the sort of kit that's lovely to have. All packaged up. Oh, lovely to gift. Wow. I put that on my Christmas oh list. Oh, gosh, yes. Imagine wouldn't, if you got this for wouldn't Christmas. Anyone, <laughs> yeah. I would be so excited. It is just beautiful, isn't it? There we are. That'll just yeah, and it it's all wrapped up with a ribbon. It looked like you'd done it yourself. But, and then you put it aside to get out at a later date. But I would, I would do it like this, working beautifully on one block at a time. And then all you need on top of that is um, backing fabric which we do have, well actually it doesn't say, so you need four and a half metres if you buy the normal width backing fabric, but how big is this? It's two metres, isn't it? So you are going to need two, two and a half metres of backing fabric. If it's extra wide, you'll need 458 centimetres of the normal quilting width, 44 inch. If you buy the extra width, the extra wide, you'll need two and a half metres and the same of, back, of wadding as well. So the queen size, we've got, if you have a look on the website, the queen size wadding that we have here, this is, that's the right size. 
and you will need two and a half meters of extra wide backing fabric we have got some beautiful ruby star society and i made a quilt um using this actually at the weekend the cream one i used oh it's glorious the, honestly this is the backing fabric of my dreams it's it's smooth and silky but it doesn't slip so when you um, lay it on your table, because it's extra wide, it's brilliant. And I was doing a big quilt as well. Um, it just lays down and you know, I mean, this looks creased here, doesn't it? But when you're quilting, the creases don't and the folds don't stay in it. It just quilts beautifully. So this, look at this fuchsia colour. Also, very important, there's no pattern on it. So none of that pattern, because I find it quite hard to keep my backing fabric straight to the front. So I hate it if it's got a proper pattern on it. And you'll need two and a half metres. I mean, it will look beautiful without this one, won't it? Gorgeous, yeah. And it is right. gorgeous. So as a backing fabric, or if you just want to buy it, if you're, um, because it is so wide, if you want to use it for some th other projects for backing, whatever, it's beautiful. I cannot show be Look at the black. It's got like copper and silvery bits in it. Actually, it'd look nice in your quilt, wouldn't it, that fabric? It would, <laughs> would yeah, it? it would. <laughs> Lovely, that yeah. is absolutely a bit. Um, 12.99 for half metre, but it is super wide. It's 274 centimetres wide. Really wide, I mean, it is. I have used quite a lot of fab backing fabrics, and it is lovely because I hate trying to get the backing fabric exactly straight when you can't see it underneath the wadding, um, the grey. And I use this with um, this cotton wadding, because that's my favourite. And I didn't use any basting spray because I didn't have any. And it worked beautifully, just pinned it all together because I couldn't be bothered to tack it. And this was a double bed size quilt. <laughs> and it all lay beautifully. And it's just, well, you know what it's like. There are different fabrics. Some fabrics behave better than others. Some you use and you think, I would never use that again. This is fantastic. Have I got time to do this or would you rather I didn't it's put this on? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm nearly there. Um, <laughs> the other one... Well, the other colour that I, the colour that I used was the um, cream or the white. Oh, the turquoise. We haven't got the we haven't got a sample of the turquoise, but there's a picture of it on the web. Oh, that's beautiful. Now that would go nicely yeah. as well with this, wouldn't it? So you will need um, two and a half metres to get the length, but you will actually have some left over. That's what I often find is that with the whole width of it, you never need the whole width, but you've always got bits left over, lovely for cushion back. I mean, that's beautiful. We've got a question from Anne. Can you quilt as you go with this quilt? Um, I don't know. You could once you've actually done your blocks, you could quilt, you know, you could quilt as you go with this. You'd put that one on first, then you'd add that right. one. Right, so once you've done your, the bit the way yeah, you showed us before. assemble your rows, I would. You obviously right. can't with this because mm. you've got joins here and you've got joins there. So you would have to have your row and then you could put that one on there and then and then put that one on. Oh, so, okay. yeah, you could. But you just need yeah. to do it at the stage where you're, you've got all the individual parts of the rows. Yeah. Okay. So you would have to piece your strips mm. first okay. and then strip it. Uh, put the strips in. I'm nearly there. Oh, you've got a couple <laughs> of minutes left. See, Alison's okay. undid it. She's obviously such a perfectionist. <laughs> she can bear to see that upside down. No, I don't. <laughs> it, it's just, it is. The, th the problem is working here is that we see so many beautiful quilts and so many lovely fabrics that it does take quite a lot now to excite me. <laughs> <laughs> Although I get very excited by things like that bobbin winder, but you know when you see so much for me to, for for me to think I'm going to make that, it has to be something really special because you do see we are very lucky, aren't we, Alison? We see so many beautiful no, okay, fabrics and things <laughs> all the time. Yes, yeah. So then this one will go on that side, and they're trimmed off. I've already trimmed off yeah. those ones, and then. These that one on that side? We'll go on that side and there you've got and your And then lovely, all of a sudden you've got your square. It. That's amazing. Look at that. So really, yeah, I mean, I would say an advanced beginner. Yeah. I think, you know, just someone who like would like to have a go the, for the first time well, on and curves like I say, would you easily use, achieve this one. And if you use the glue, that makes yeah. it a little bit easier, yeah. things like that. I yeah. mean, that's just, it is beautiful. Really mm. beautiful. Thank you, um, Alison, for demonstrating. That was You're brilliant. <laughs> um, thanks, Hayley, for our extra special deal. £40 off the original price. That's our special, special introductory offer. 
Um, at midnight, it will go back up. Remember, it is available on split pay. Um, three separate payments of 53.33, so you can spread it. That's interest free. Don't worry, we don't charge you anything extra for that. Um, fantastic, isn't it? What a beautiful quilt. Um, we do have a few left. I think they probably will all sell out before then, so if it's in your basket, please do check out. Um, but the price will go back up. Very nice, very nice at this time of year to have a brand new designer and a brand new quilt. Gorgeous. Have I got time to go through the fabric again? Quick, quick look. So remember, in the box, you get this beautiful box. That's, that's not the box, that's the out, there's the box. Beautiful box, it's all wrapped in tissue paper with a ribbon and it has the, the sleeve round it, which is lovely because I you can keep this next to you whenever I make anything, I always like to see a really good picture. Although the instructions are fantastic, it does help to see, make sure you're placing things in the right place. So you get that lovely big thing. You've got the um, full instructions and I love the fact that they've given you pictures of the fabric and labeled so you know exactly which fabric is which. Where there are sections of the fabric that you need to cut, cut carefully so that you make sure you do it. They've got small diagrams. Everything is explained very clearly and there are nice things like that. In little notes like Alison pointed out like this might vary a bit but don't worry and you know and it tells you you will have a bit of overhang on this. Um, everything is explained and once you've played, got all your blocks together you just create, put the whole thing together. Let's just have a look at the fabrics. So you've got the base, the backing fabric that's used, I mean, you've got like over three and a half meters of this trellis sort of neutral fabric. This is the one that's used in the whole background of quilt. You've got loads of that. This is the beautiful fabric that's used in the border and also for one of the flowers. And um, I've never seen don't often see, unless it's on a panel, a horizontal repeat that's so wide. We might see a vertical one, but look, we, you've got this beautiful... I hope at some point we sell this by the half metre because, because I love the fact that you've got the orange stars down the centre. And it's layered. Look at the layers of it. You've got this trellis design at the background. Then you've got the leaves on top. Then you've got the stars and then the flowers. And then finally, these beautiful... Hand almost they, well, they look hand printed swallows, they look stamped because they're sort of slightly rough, but it's a layered fabric I and mean, it's gorgeous. But you know, I'm yes, you could what you could do is substitute this for a nice plain navy in the border and keep this for yourself. I think I might do that, <laughs> although it's a shame, isn't it? Because it, it does frame it absolutely beautifully. We will have to ask Chief Fire Paul if we if we can get this in by the half metre. Yeah, might not get it though. Although she does do other fabrics. I've pinned that one, look, and you can see them both together, how lovely they look together. Oh, they do, don't they? Look yeah. at that. Wow, they are big blocks as they well. They are, yeah. So you don't have to do many you blocks. You nearly finished actually, the quilt, two, Alison. Three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight blocks and, and two halves. Okay. But the two halves aren't the same. She, <laughs> has, she hasn't done one block and thought, oh, we'll cut that in half and put it at the top and the bottom. They're actually different They're fabrics. They're different fabrics. Yeah. Mm, Got to showcase it all. It is yeah. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love this orange. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's the, same, it's the same print. What's it called? It's called small lanterns. They're not trellis. They're small lanterns. Yeah. But again, it's got that block because it, she, she, it says she It's in a lot prints. of the colours, isn't it? So, yeah, it's very... Okay, right, so that is the whole kit. Everything that you need, 12 different fabrics, that's my favorite, um, all of that, all of these fabrics, all in the kit, 40, reduced by 40 pounds as a special introductory offer. We won't, at midnight it will go back in. We do have a few of the kits left, but please don't just put them in your basket. You need to check out, because if it's sitting in your basket, somebody else can take it out. If you want it, um, I mean, it is stunning. I've never seen a quilt like this before. It's just beautiful. The fact, the design and the fabrics go together so well. Love it. Anyway, thank you for joining me today on Sewing Street. We are going to Yarn Lady in a minute, so you don't need to go anywhere. But Sewing Street will be back tomorrow with... Who's presenting tomorrow? Stuart's presenting tomorrow. Eight o'clock. Happy birthday, Kaif. Didn't know it was Kaif's Ooh. birthday. Eight o'clock. Um... So it's a special day dedicated to him. Nine o'clock, Cave Kilts Quilts with Delphine. 
10 o'clock we've got cave colors and at 11 o'clock we've got the cat art quilt with delphine and at 12 o'clock it's primal living um so please do join us tomorrow morning bright and early at eight o'clock um but um don't go anywhere because we are going to yarn next and allison's coming with me woohoo Yes, get your running shoes on. We've got to get over to your lane. Um, if you're watching on the TV, don't worry. You can carry on what you're doing. But if you're watching on Facebook or the website, you need to go on to www.yarnlane.com. We will see you um, back there. We've just got to move everything around, but we'll see you back on Yarn Lane in just a few minutes' time. <laughs>